And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition, man. We're joined with a bunch of lovely ladies and Don Sharp and Troy. Uh, quick announcement so you guys know. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit, man. You guys know exactly where to find us if we ever do get canceled. Um, and uh, also check us out on Castle Club. Dot TV. Yep. Um, I think we already got a bunch of y'all waiting. So, Chris, what's the number? Give me the thing. A uh, number of uh, waiting? No, for chats. no, no, for the chats. Oh, yeah, 20 and up. All right, so guys, from this point <clears throat> forward, we're going to read 20 and up, but if you got something in before, we'll go ahead and read it for y'all, so don't worry. Yep. Uh, that goes for Rumble Rant and for uh, FNF Super Chat. Again, FNFSuperChat.com, or you can Rumble Rant it in. Uh, but yeah, Chris, you got something to say, right? Yes, girls, Aaron C. Poxa on IG. Make sure if you send me a DM to come on to a show, just give me some time, a day or two. And other than that, uh, let's have a great show. We got a, a bunch of new girls, and hopefully no one gets Frank Castle. Maybe. <laughs> Six to be exact. Good job, Chris. Uh, ladies, if you don't mind, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course. Your body count. And we're going to start on the couch. Welcome. Welcome back. Hello. Hi, my name is Hannah. I am 24 years old. I Where sell, are you from? I'm from New York. I sell health insurance for a living, and I am in a relationship this time. Oh, wow. Oh, this time. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. How long have you been in a relationship? Last time you had bra- braids, right? Last yeah, time? yeah. Okay, I yeah. remember you now. Well, what's your highest education level completed? Oh, um, high school. Okay, and then you said you do, uh, you're from New York. What part of New York are you from? Um, Brooklyn. Uh, okay. Yeah. New York! Okay. New York. New York. And then how long y'all been together? Uh, four months. Okay. Is it a guy or a girl? It's a guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me ask one question here. Is your boyfriend of the darker persuasion? Yes, he is black. And geez, how did I know that? That's, that's obvious, bro. Come on. <laughs> Why? All right. What about you? <laughs> Um, I'm Mulan Monet. I'm 27 years old. I'm sorry, it was Mulan? Hey, Mulan. Hey, Mulan. Hey, okay. Mulan. Like the Disney character? Mulan, yes. The princess warrior. Okay, how old are you? The queen. I'm 27. <laughs> okay, where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, what do you do for work? I'm in education. Okay. Are you a teacher or? Uh-oh. We ain't speak on that, but I'm in education. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We need to know more about that. What kind of education you in? And I'm a dance um teacher. I'm a dance choreographer. What kind of dance? Okay. Hmm? What kind of dance? What kind of dance? Is it oh, yeah. pole Ballet, jazz, no, hip hop. Oh, oh, oh. Is there a pole involved? A pole. I can, I can do a little bit of that. Uh, but I'm not uh, there it is. Um, what's your highest education level completed? I got my bachelor's. In? Go ahead, go ahead. Um, Stripping? No. Bachelor's of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies. Oh, shit. What's that? Damn, I okay. don't know what that is. And then, um, where'd you get it from? Uh, University of Houston, downtown. But I started at Prairie View, HBCU. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And then relationship yeah. status? I'm single. All right. Cool. <laughs> you don't look too happy about that. <laughs> no, no, no. She said, no, I'm, I'm single. Like, I'm single, <laughs> meaning like, you know, I have friends, but I'm single. Oh. oh. She'll be fine. She, she has friends. So she, there's she's dude, she's smashing. Yeah, yeah. All right. She's, she's yeah. Uh, what about what you? What's you? your name? Daniela Morris. Okay. Uh, yes. How old are you? Uh, I'm young. Oh. I'll just say that. No. <laughs> no, we get a number <laughs> <speed. laughs> Um, I'm 20. Okay, where are you from? Mm-hmm. I'm from New York, but now I'm here in Miami. Where in New city York? Or, has yeah. to be upstate. Um, no. <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> but you don't sound like you're from New York, though. Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens. Oh, I'm from Manhattan. We have to, we have to get her mad. That's those, when the accent works out. Upstate New York. You have where beautiful you? skin. Get me mad. Thank you. I'm an where esthetician as well. I don't know what that is. It's Botox, okay, I, and, Botox and stuff, yeah? Oh, shit. Uh, Fillers? Skincare. I mean, yeah, skincare, yeah. beauty treatment. Well, it shows. Yeah, so... Your um, skin is what, what borough did you go to high school in? Um, don't say Kings. Manhattan. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah. I oh, see so you're a rich girl. That took too long. Yeah. She had to think about that. Yeah, that took too long. She said, "Manhattan, where all the rich people go to school." I traveled a lot, so I okay. had to think about which one. Like, did you okay. travel to Dubai? One. To Dubai? No, I haven't been there. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Anyone in the chat? So you said profession is you're an esthetician. Are you anything else, or is that? Just um, I'm name? actually I'm the owner of Danny Stahl's Beauty Studios. Nice. Okay, okay. Uh, so you're that's... an esthetician, but you own a beauty studio. Yeah, I'm a okay. beauty specialist, so full specialist. I do everything beauty, nails, skin, okay. makeup, everything. Brazilian okay. butler? Um, that. No, What's that your, I okay. don't do. High <laughs> education level, trying to get a BBL. High <laughs> education level completed? Um, uh, high school, okay. and then I furthered my education in beauty. Okay, you have like your esthetician license, I'm guessing, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I have okay. multiple licenses. Okay. Mm. All right, and then what's your relationship status? I oh. am single. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what about right. you? My name is Nyla. I just turned 23 yesterday. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank Where are you from? You. Happy birthday. I'm from Massachusetts. What part of Massachusetts? Lowell, Massachusetts. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? 
Um, I'm a lash tech. I have my own business called mm-hmm. Night Lashes. Okay. Nice. And Highest education level completed? I also am um, a case manager for homeless youth. Okay. Ooh, my highest education. Um, I went to college, but I didn't finish. Okay. Uh, did you get like an associate's or a trade or something like that or no? No, I actually just got my esthetician license like her too. Okay. Nice. All right. I'll put that down. All right. And then what's your relationship status? Freshly single. Oh, shit. Wait, what Great happened? We, we got to know what happened. What did that nigga do? Nothing. I'm just nigga trying do? to grow. Did it was you, a seven oh, year from like wait, high school. Did so you, you, left, did you, you left him or he left you? She left him. It was mutual. Oh, she left uh, <laughs> Did you leave him? We both want to work on our goals. We were too little. Like, no, okay, you know, what did you do wrong and then what did he do, he Here do we wrong go. in a relationship? We just wasn't focused on our goals. No, she wants more dick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. No, we wasn't focused on our goals. Focus on our goals, and we have two babies too. So, two okay. babies. Oh, wow! Ooh. There you go. Mm. All right. Uh, what about you? Wow. Hey, uh, I'm. S- Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, I'm 29. Um, I'm okay. in the roofing industry. Wait, I do like tw- the permitting. 29. Wait. Okay. You, <laughs> you, okay, so uh, people pull permits through you for roofing. Yeah, like I have to. Okay. Do all of them. Okay. Um. Uh, would that would that mean you work for like the the city or the county or something like that or? Um, it's like the building department, like the city of like the building. That'd be the city, yeah. That's public okay. sector. Yeah. City, yeah. The city. All right. I deal with all of them. So. The city of Miami. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then uh, so you do the permitting for roofing specifically. All right. Yeah. Uh, what is your highest education level completed? Um, AA and AS. Oh, and what associates. Yeah. Okay, uh, what would you get it in? Uh. Esthetician. Esthetician? Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. All right. And then, the wrong uh, business. where are you originally from? Um, also, New York. You said Manhattan. Manhattan, New York. Are you guys friends? Yeah. No, I just met her. We could be. Oh. Hey. No, she I probably she's met from her New York. in like high school, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you said Manhattan. Where specifically in Manhattan? Um, are we talking uptown? Uh, uptown. Like Harlem? Basically, no, um, like I lived on Eighth Avenue, like above a pizzeria. Oh, yeah, she's Manhattan. Nice. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Eighth and what? Uh, I don't remember. That was like, okay. 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 That so. was like eleven years ago that I left. <laughs> okay, so you've been in Miami the past ten years or so. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you prefer Miami? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. like the heat. Okay. I don't like the sun. Damn. All right, All right. and then You're relationship status? <laughs> I have a man. Okay. How long have you been together? Three months and a half. Okay. Oh, so it's new. I'm happily taken. Okay. That's good. So he makes me happy. So cool. Nice. All right, what about you? I'm Gianni. I go by Mommy G. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm 24 years old. I'm an entrepreneur. Where are you from? I'm Dominican. I grew up in New Jersey. Okay. I'm an entrepreneur, content creator. Oh. I do events like. When I'm you say content planner. creator, are we talking YouTube? Only fans. We're talking about OnlyFans, oh. modeling, oh, but yeah. I'm also an entrepreneur. So now I own a production company. Mm. We provide the side cars for artists, like mentions, PJ, and everything that has to do with production. So you guys shoot <laughs> Dude, music, music videos? Huh? Like music videos? Yes. Basically? Okay. Yes. Uh, so you provide the resources to yes, shoot music the videos, cars, and everything? to shoot the videos. Okay. Uh... I'm going to guess, is it, does it matter what type of music or is it mostly reggaeton or what? Um, reggaeton and hip hop, I'll say. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so OnlyFans and modeling agency and, no, sorry, you said production agency, right? Yes, production. Okay. And then what is your, where you, uh, highest education level Miami. completed? Highest education level completed? GD. Okay. Well, what about you? Was it high school? You, it oh no, you said AA, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a GD. I had two kids when I was 17. Okay, GED. Okay, Damn. and then um, relationship status? Um, in a fresh relationship. How long y'all been together? Two months now. Okay, mm. cool. And you had a quote Wrong earlier about plastic. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> plastic. I say that life in plastic is fantastic. <laughs> I always been a body, and uh, I used to like my natural body, mm. but. I don't regret having plastic surgery. Yeah, fuck it, man. I mean, you you know, you want to emphasize what you've got. You know, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I am pro fake boobs. I had a dick There's one thing that I tell everybody. <laughs> you whatever what? your heart desires, just do it. Just do Who it. Who cares? I just do it. It's your bro. life. And at the end of the day, people are always going to have something negative to say. Real no shit. Matter no, what, just right? Haters, right? So just do it. Yeah, yeah man, just do it. We're only on this planet for a short period of time. You might as well just fucking make yourself the best possible. Show the Nike, just do it. By the way, we got a big super chat. Oh, shout out to our boy, 
Jesus Christ. Uh, wow. He wasn't focusing on his goals. <laughs> means he wasn't Dumped making enough money go, fast go, enough. Go, go, enough. Go, go. And to the guy in the chat who asked about how it feels for FNF to be demonetized, this one's for you. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, fuck the haters, man. Don't you, bro. Don't it's funny. Go, we got demonetized. We got a better studio, upgraded all the equipment, yeah, and, and we're doing funny. pretty well, man. So it is what it is. Haters <laughs> day ones are still here. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So shout out to you guys. Haters uh, looking really stupid. Thank you so much, Black Lemur. Appreciate that, For my real. friend. Like uh, that. What about you? What's your name? My name is Christy. Hey, Christy. Hi. <laughs> okay. It was age, so twenty nine. My. Where are you from? I am from here, born and raised in Miami. My parents are both Cuban. Red cool, flag. what do you do for work? Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> nah, I'm original from Miami. Okay, what do I do for work? I'm a yeah. dog training specialist and a model. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you train all types of training. dogs or? Yes, all types of dogs. Okay. Um, and then what is your highest education level completed? Uh, I said some college, just some college, and I've gotten some courses as well. I got you my have... real estate. Okay, so you have your realtor license? Yeah. I got okay. the real estate and then you and have I your, a um, Do you have an associate well. or no? No, I don't. Okay. No. Can you? Can you train my dog? He's an asshole. Yeah, I got no. you. No, stay away from first. You stay away from zero. <laughs> he's, he's he's in the chat, by the way. So. Uh, For real? I got you. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your relationship status? Taken. Okay. Ooh. How long have you been together? Um, about two months. Okay. All these fresh Why relationships. Wow. Yeah. 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 He's never going to be finished by the end. I'm telling you, this is where relationships go to die. I know. It's to be like that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I met him on a live stream. Wait, which one? Meet me. Mimi? Mimi? Yeah. Mimi? What's that? Is that like it's a dicey thing? Me. It's nothing it's like sexual or nothing crazy. It's like, like dicey. That means it's, it's just sexual and crazy. No, it's it, not. You omigo? sit there and you talk to people. Is it Omigo? Huh? Is it like Omigo? <laughs> I don't know what a Google is. I have no idea what any of this is. It's an online that is service. Either. You can match people randomly around the world. It like some people use it for a dating app, and other people use it for a live stream. I was using it for a live stream. It's, um, a, it's but it turned it's into a, a dating app. It's a fusion of. It's a fusion of TikTok, uh, Tinder, and live streaming. It's like that kind of fusion. Okay, okay. I oh, think cool. it's it's basically seeking arrangements featuring content. Right? <laughs> uh, that's what it is. <laughs> that sounds like a great fucking and, idea. Yeah. Yeah. And with, with, I mean, I like it. <laughs> and it's meant to be like in all ages. Go ahead, Mo. Okay. What was that? Apunta, what was that? The meat is spelled M E A T. And it's and it's meant and it's meant to be like all ages. Okay, uh, that's what. Well, eighteen and up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, well, hey. question: oh, How did you meet your man? How did I meet yeah. downstairs at Sexy Fish? Outside where? Oh, nice. Outside of Fresh and Fit. Downstairs at the restaurant Sexy Fish. Oh, yeah. oh, sexy fish. fish. Did, yeah. he yeah. Yeah. Say, did he come up to you and did he come up to you and say hi? Did he come up to you and speak to you? Yes. He there you go. Me. Cold approach, guys. This is what you fucking got to do. He's actually downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Megalo is waiting for me too. How tall oh, wow. is he? How tall? He's like six two. That's, that's when cold approach. <laughs> that's why. That's why cold approach works. Yeah. Yeah. Cold approach still works. Yeah. 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 Get your uh, approach works. Okay. But you gotta be tall enough. Okay. So you guys met on the streaming thing. Okay. What about you? What's your name? My name is Melanie. I am 28. Um, Where are you from? I'm from South Florida. I was born in Miami. Red flag. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you do for work? I work at an attorney's office. Okay. Are you like a paralegal? Or... Yeah, I'm a paralegal. Okay. Uh, defense or prosecution? Um, it's like complex business litigation. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah, the boring stuff. Right. <laughs> okay. And then um, what's your uh, highest education level completed? I'm uh, finishing my bachelor's right now. Okay. okay. In? In criminal justice. Okay. Uh, do you want to drop where you go to school? It's up to you. You don't have to. Do I where I go to school right now? You you can I'm, say I if do you want. It, you I do it full time online. So oh, I'm at online? University right. of Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? I'm taken. Okay. How long have you been? Everybody almost nine months. <laughs> nine months. Oh. Yeah. Where'd you guys weird. meet? It's cuffing season. When did we meet? <laughs> no, where? Oh, where? Oh, where? Oh, Florida. No. Fucking a. Um. I just I knew him through mutual people. So like, one one day he slid on me and. Okay. It's just, okay. Yeah. Mutual, yeah. Just social, just circle. Get emotional. social circle. Okay. How tall is he? Um, like six one. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? My name is Keish Mary. I'm 32, and I'm from hey, Massachusetts. <laughs> okay. 32. It's, hold on. It's Keish Mary, 32, and then yes. what do you do for? I'm also a case manager for case manager. Okay. adolescents experiencing, um, what is it, homelessness, and oh, that's cool. Just pretty much just trying to get back on their feet. Okay. Are you guys uh, friends? Yeah, we yeah, work together friends. and friends. Cool. That's uh, so beautiful. And then where are you? Are you also from Massachusetts? Yes. Okay. Are you from Lowell as well? No, I'm from Lynn. Okay. Who's the most famous fighter out of Lowell, Mass? A, fa a fighter? I don't 
watch Spidey. <laughs> so I don't know. Mickey Ward. I, I cannot. Things. Dude, they made a movie about it. Oh my god. Mickey Ward. Oh my god. What's your um, Mickey Ward is from Lil Mass. What's your um, oh. uh, highest education level completed? Do you have a BA too? No, I did high school and then I just did courses. Okay. And then relationship status? I am single. All right. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, only one your, on the panel. What's your but she's right. It is cuffing season. Yeah, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Stay away, bro. Stay away. Uh, I'm Puerto Rican. Bro. Hey, I'm Puerto Rican girls I get swear, to game bro. Are you Puerto Rican no, too? Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> or, I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican and Italian. Yeah. Yo, they get pregnant like this. I told you, Puerto Rican. Oh, this is gonna be bitch. How you doing? Because I'm 29. How you doing? We're safe. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, we're safe. Call, call me after. Look at her. She's concerned. She's like, oh my god, I might do it. And in the Northeast, bro, it's all Puerto Ricans. Oh, bro. And Dominicans. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Puerto Ricans. It's all Dominicans and Puerto Ricans. Come on, city, say Diablo. Diablo. Come on, city, say. Uh, cool. What about you? What's your name? My name is Yesenia. Okay. I'm 29. Okay. Where are you from? I'm Cuban. Did, where'd you like, did you like, were you raised in Cuba or were you raised here in Miami? I was raised here in Miami. Okay. Red flag. <laughs> 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 that, She's bro. my best friend. Well, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a registered nurse. Wait, okay. Nurse? Yes. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, I knew they were going to give you that. Flags. I told you. Two red flags. Uh, you got one more. Highest education level completed? I have my bachelor's in science. Mm -hmm. oh. And where'd you get I'm it from? Grand Canyon University. Mario Sell. Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah. There's a university in there? <laughs> yes. It's in Phoenix. Guys, it's actually a real that... university. It's it's really? in Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, it's I didn't be in believe Arizona. it was real until I was out there and I'm riding my bike and I'm like, holy fuck, it's Thank fucking you. real. Thank <laughs> you. Is it right down the bottom? Or... Thank God you got that. <laughs> okay, right. what's your um, okay, relationship status? <laughs> Single. Cool. Uh, All right. Well, she's a nurse. Uh, and then uh, we, guess we got two special guests. You guys want to introduce yourself real quick to the people? The guy in the shades and the guy in glasses. Mm-hmm. I'll let, the black, I'll let the James Bond of the Manosphere. Troy members. Francis, dating coach, based in London. Uh, single, obviously. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, follow me on YouTube, at Real Troy Francis. Why is it obvious? Because, I just, I mean, man, we'll, we'll get into this, but um, <laughs> I don't think marriage is a good idea for dudes these okay. days. And also, I'm a dating right. coach. Also, I'm a dating coach and I travel the whole time, but it's hard to, you know, my base is London, but it's hard to sort of, like, have a relationship doing what I do because I go around a lot. Obviously, we're meeting different people and... Mm -hmm. Being social, you know, okay. stuff like that. All right, cool. I like variety. Tell your boyfriend as well. to watch out I for this guy. Right. You better I like, tell I like, him also, watch out. also, as well, look, just being honest, I like variety. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're not going to go to Burger King and order the same fucking thing every time, are you? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you might fancy you don't like, like love then. What? The sorry. You don't like love then. No, I like love, but I know. But sometimes for you want, you know, like you go to the rest. Like, you know, when yeah, you're in Vegas and you're staying in those people. fucking hotels and they've got all of those different cuisines, you're not going to eat the one cuisine every time, are you? You're <laughs> yeah, not going to have Chinese every time. Like, like maybe sometimes thing. you fancy Italian, maybe you want a bit of Mexican, maybe you want a little bit of like. Uh, white girl? Parisian, you know, <laughs> oh, French. I'm sorry, we're talking about Eat food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Easy, huh? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> All right, uh, Donovan, Donovan, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm Donovan Sharp. I've been in this community now for 10 years. I have written, Jesus, 12 books. I've done a jillion courses. The reason I'm in Miami is because I'm having the third conference of, ma of Masculine Excellence. It's going down uh, October 13th through October 15th. On October 15th, uh, that is when I will be tying the knot to the lovely and talented Devin. Oh, congratulations. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, 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 not, no, not legally, not legally. We're going to do everything but sign the papers. What's mine is mine, what's hers is mine. If things go sideways, I have contingencies in place to where she's been with me from the start, from the, from the beginning of the business, so I'll make sure I break her off, but... Mm -hmm. But but if she decides to leave me, she's not getting shit. So that's where that goes. <laughs> you think that's okay? like that sometimes. Say again? You think that's okay? Where? Like that's okay to do that to her? Do what to her? <laughs> what if she leaves? No, no, hold on, hold on. Is Go ahead. No, 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 no. Hold on. Okay to do what to her? You know, like not give her anything like... You know. I bought her a Range Rover for her birthday last year. Damn! A if Range she Rover leaves, okay, would you take hold that? On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, keep going. <laughs> See, it's, it's well, no, no, no. Materialistic. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. So, well, th th what she's talking about is the material possession without the material possession. The reason why she said, why would you do that to her? What she's really asking, why would you give a woman commitment and not tie anything to it? Well, because I don't want her to be able to leave with half of my shit. I want to be in charge of that. Mm -hmm. Now she's been with me for seven and a half years, so she deserves to be called a wife. But I am not about to. I'm not about to be in a contract between myself and the state and her. Mm. If she's cool with it, uh, if, she is absolutely. It is it is. Hey, she's absolutely I mean, cool. It works and she's happy. For them, that it works. absolutely it's works. For y'all to understand. Hey, it works. It, wor <laughs> it, 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 it absolutely. It absolutely yeah, works. Matter. 
All right. Uh, Sorry, Sherry. Sherry. I think you had a question for the ladies that you wanted to kick off, right? <laughs> yeah. So Go the ahead, first. Please. Okay. Yeah. So the first question is. And I was asking this to girls in Mexico City last week. Got some interesting answers. And we're going to start here with the question and then go around. So, yeah. that lady, just so you know, it, typically we'll start here, then go back here, and then we'll just keep doing it that way. So, Couch will get the next question first. Cuba first. Go ahead, Troy. All right. Is it ever acceptable under any <coughs> circumstances for a woman to cheat on her man? No. no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> One by one. Um, yeah. Troy, how d detailed do you want Do you want to <laughs> say yes or no? Or in a why? Or? Uh, and a why. Okay. Uh, go ahead. No, I mean, know. coming from experience, loyalty is everything. Okay. What if the sex is really bad? There's nothing that can be tied. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's right, so nothing you're... we can't work with, or okay. there's nothing we can't add on to the equation. Yeah, but girls don't okay. want puppies. So, you want so fully question, grown dogs. You been cheated on? Who hasn't? No. Skirt? I've no, never been cheated on. That you that know, you know of. of. That I know of. <laughs> yeah. right, so yeah, your yeah, answer is no, because loyalty is everything, correct? Correct. Okay, cool. What about you? Um, I would definitely say no, but I mean, everyone's relationship, like you understand whatever terms you're on or if yeah. it's not really, if it, it's not considered cheating, if you're open and you guys yeah. like met like this, you know, like everyone understands the relationship. Personally, I don't like to cheat. If I have to, you know, I'll take a step away. Well, but, that's big of you. But if I have to cheat, I will, you know, get back because I was great. If you have to make the <laughs> difficult to, decision. I will. Okay, all right. No, okay, no, but it's frowned upon. So who do you think cheats more, men or women? Women. women. Oh, here we go. So so we're going to go around the whole panel now. Everyone's going to say no, <laughs> women shouldn't cheat, and yet women cheat more. <laughs> so somebody's that. fucking lying. No, 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 it's, fr it, it's <laughs> no, not right. It's frowned upon. Right. It's yeah. But we do it the most because we get away with it best. Yep. Right. Do you think that uh, women are able to... Conceal it better than men. Absolutely. Yes. I think men, I think we're a bit sloppy with it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Are. I think we just fuck it. You know, we just kind of. You don't know how to be consistent with your woman. Like, if you're cheating and someone else gets your attention, you still have to remember that you got to pay attention to Shorty back home. Yeah, now, man. if you yeah. get some, you got to be consistent with everyone. Now, she's gonna know if something's going on if she's not getting the same love and attention and all this stuff. You got to mm. be consistent. Us, yeah. we know, baby, baby. I love you. I love you. No, but I, I think you, women I are crazy you. too because they'll just blow up your phone, show up at your house. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's why you never give the side bitch. Just so I can make sure. Yeah, yeah, side bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Right. Just, real quick, just so I make sure I clarify this. So you're saying no, but if you need to cheat, you would cheat. So I'm confused. No, no, I'm saying, all right, I, in a serious, in a respectable relationship, yeah. like where you respect me, I respect you, and it's actually a serious relationship, no, I'm not cheating. But okay. if it's just like a little, a, not, not something nigga. serious, but, yeah, but if remember, it's a little fuck his boy, question so, was, yeah. is it ever acceptable for a, a woman to cheat in a relationship? That's his in question. In a serious relationship, absolutely not. Okay, okay. all right, okay. what about you? I don't think so. Okay. You don't think so? Or? No, or like, no. I don't think it's, I don't think it's acceptable for a woman to cheat. If why? you guys, because if you guys Can agree- Can you say why? Yeah, if you guys agree on like exclusivity, then there should be no reason for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about you? Okay, so loyalty is fundamental. Yes. Your word is bond. So your answer is no as well? Nope, the answer is definitely not. Absolutely okay. not. Hold on. The, the answer is not no. Before? No, I haven't. Never ever? Oh, that's cat. Mm. I've been cheated <laughs> on. Ever. I've been cheated years? on. Never ever? Yo. Huh? I was in a 10 year relationship. Mm. Yeah. You had a relationship since what, like 18 or something? I was in a relationship when I was, yeah, 18. Yeah. To 20. Until last year. And you okay. never cheated? No, I it's didn't. Cap. Thank you. Appreciate you, uh, it. Man. You know, she's, 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 a high quality, she's, a high <laughs> she's a high quality Cuban woman. She's got those Cuban morals. Yeah, okay. exactly. No, like I, I was you. definitely taught. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, I was definitely taught that. Like, They're if you if you want to cheat, just yeah. leave the relationship. Sure that's how I was taught. No. But that's the part. Yeah, the thing is right. That's the party line. Like you're gonna say that, but she's just said women cheat more. So somebody here. I'm not her. I'm me. I know you're me, but some you're you. But somebody here is capping, right? If we're all gonna go around the whole fucking thing and everyone's gonna say no. I don't right, think we'll that women cheat right. more. I actually think men cheat more. But no, <laughs> women, but mm -hmm. men get caught more. Women get more. <laughs> women get more opportunities agree. to cheat, and also they're better at concealing it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Therefore, but the thing is, when a woman cheats, it's emotional. That's your replacement. Right. Right. When who's a man more, cheats, he just does it for fun, so he does it more who's rapidly. More sexual, more who's more sexual, men or women? Men. No, mm, come no, on, seriously? women. Don't you think? I feel like women, they just hide it more. Yeah. What about you? Is cheating ever acceptable by a female to you? I don't think that it's acceptable for a woman to cheat. I'm not a cheater. Okay. Well, I didn't ask you if you were a cheater. I'm saying... She said, I'm not I'm a cheater. I'm not a cheater, <laughs> and I don't think that it's okay for a woman to cheat. Why? Because if that's not what you wanted, you should have stayed single. Mm. See, yeah, that's right. Thank you. See, and she's yeah. Spanish, so, just like me. So that's what our mother teaches. So, uh, qu question. Have you ever cheated before? No, never. Oh, yeah. Never. <laughs> 
I never cheated. Stop the cow. Mm. Right, what, what about If I'm not happy in the relationship, I just leave. Can, can, can I, what about this though, right? So a mm. lot of women, and some do, dudes do this as well, right? They will have a backup plan, mm -hmm. and then when they want to leave their their main guy, they'll sort of secretly start like kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah. standard operating procedure, fam. Yeah, exactly. So so that. That in itself is cheating, isn't it? And that's yeah. a pretty common thing. Because then the girl just goes to her main guy and says, yeah, sorry, it's over. And then two weeks later, she's seeing the new dude. But of course, really, uh, you know, secretly, she's been like dealing with him, you know, under the surface. So mm -hmm. I think that a lot of more cheating happens here. And then, and then the woman just moves on to the next guy and says, oh, yeah, it just kind of happened. You know, we just met and it's great. But actually, really, she cheated in order to get out of the relationship. Okay. What about you? Uh, do you think cheating is ever acceptable by a woman? No. Okay. Um, Why so? I mean, it hurts, you know. Like, yes. It's like girls or guys. Like I don't think anybody needs to hurt anybody. Like mm. everybody, like here, believes like in their partner, and that's not like a thing you should break. Like, yeah. like I'm all about loyalty. Qu yeah, yeah. I don't... Question for you. Yeah, of course. What if he cheated first? Would that make it okay? No, I'll mm. leave if he wants to do that, and that's on him. And I deserve better. better than that. What if you What if you can't leave because you love him? But if you leave and come mm -hmm. back, it doesn't that matter. That means he's controlling fresh. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> but do you know for a fact that, that you're gonna that you're gonna leave and you're not coming back? I would leave. I know how to leave because everyone because spends the block. I know how to leave. If if you're if I'm spending the block and whatever toxic whatever not like okay. you're weak i'm sorry we're yeah i'm gonna be a weak bitch for the right one i don't know it depends it's everyone guys 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 um one microphone at a time because when you guys are all talking over each other no one can hear what you're saying yeah. so i have no problem with you guys talking just one at a time so you were saying something you were saying something so you said you know your worth and then she said if it's the right guy she's staying right and on. I get yep. that, but at the end of the day, you need to know, like, what you deserve. And, Absolutely. Um, and Eric, regardless you love him or not, he hurt you and he disrespected you. But you can by... also grow. Mm -hmm. You can also grow together. If it's a person that you really, listen, in life, you're not going to get someone perfect. There's no, you're going to have a little fuck boy. No. Wow, even though she's male. Like, you're not, you yeah, have to exactly. pick and choose your battle. Gotta pick and choose like, they got to be, all right, like, it. you know what? Maybe he's not amazing or doesn't have the best job, but mm -hmm. I can help you get a better job. I can help this. I can do whatever. Like, certain things, like, you have to pick who it is that you're going to invest in. Yeah. Yeah. Can you help about, him like, keep his stuff in his pants? Listen, mm -hmm. if he's going to be <laughs> Him. You know who it is that you're getting into a relationship with. You can't no, go you into a relationship. No, you don't always know, though. No, okay, but however you meet them. Say you met him on the streets, or he's super flirtatious. You see how you met him. Yep. He was with somebody else. And you thought that you was going to be uh -oh. the one, shorty? <laughs> no, everything's going to happen the same. Listen, I mean, I you have to know, like, who, know, he yeah, you have to know like, who he is. Yeah, you have to know who he is. And and the thing is that in a relationship, you're still getting to know them. Of course. And you don't technically know anyone until so you're with them in the relationship and something goes left. Because that's when they show you their true colors. Mm. Sis is so then it's like, what are we doing? I know that I'm going to, I know who it is that I'm going to stick with, if anything. If I see potential, not more, I can't believe in you. I can't believe more in you than you believe in yourself. But if I see the potential and you're actually working towards it, we could do it. All right, two part question here. Um, number okay. one, you said no because it hurts. Just out of curiosity, do you think it's worse if a man cheats or a woman cheats, in your opinion? Um, I think it's equal. On both. Oh, no. No, no. no. I think okay. it's worse. No, no, no. no. So you, you genuinely I think it's... Say, um, I, uh, let me just hear genuinely her think like it's, it's 50 -50? equal. It hurts a woman if a man <clears throat> does it, and it hurts a man. Like, if it's a woman he actually loves and is about her, mm -hmm. and the girl does it, it'll hurt him emotionally. Okay. So both acts are... Maybe uh, not now. Both of them are acts of betrayal. Which one do you think is a bigger act of betrayal? Uh, I say the man on a woman, because a woman okay. is... You know, like all about her heart and her emotions. Okay. And that, you know, that hurts us. Interesting. You know. Yeah. Okay. For me, and I then, think it's for a man. I agree. Because a man, a man. Hurt his pride, it'll hurt his it's, ego. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're saying it's worse when a man cheats on a woman, right? And then you're yes. saying it's worse when a woman cheats on a man? No, 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 Correct. opposite. Oh, when the it's, other way. Yes. It's worse it's when a man. No, I'm sorry. I'm saying it's worse when a woman cheats on a man. Yeah, you were correct. Yes. Okay. All right. But you yeah, think yeah. it's worse I when a man cheats. Yeah. Okay. And then Definitely real quick, uh, how many of you agree with her? She's saying if you got a good relationship with a guy and he cheats, hey, might be better for you to just stick it out versus leaving immediately. How many of you agree with her on I that? agree. Raise of hands, who agrees with her? 
Disagree. One, two. You have to know where the you're answer. Right. Disagree. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Show me one time your true colors. Yo, check Absolutely. this out. But well, what if he's taking Agreed. care of you? But when you, you say, all these when, when you say true colors, though, again. isn't it the case that men are just programmed to spread their seed to yeah. one variety? You're so cold. you're saying so every man's true colors, mm. in theory, <laughs> is to cheat. Yep. So, Not the man that's for me. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Not the man that's for me. <laughs> Baby, period. But, but even the Let man me know when you find the one that e don't cheat. But even the man that's coming here. Let me know when you find the one that don't cheat. Let me know when you find the one that don't cheat. Okay, um, you had something months. that you want to say? Yes. Ahead. I think that it's easier for a woman to stay after her man she than a man to stay after the woman she. I agree. Okay. Because it's in the main nature. Nature. It's nature. different yeah. nature. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay, It's different when a man cheat than when the woman cheats. Yeah, okay. Donovan, so, you, had, you had a point. Um, I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling y'all right now. It, I mean, the death of a relative, the death of a loved one, the death of a pet. Nothing crushes a man's soul like a woman cheating on him. Mm -hmm. There is no greater physical, emotional pain than <clears throat> learning that your woman has slept with another man. There yep. is no other pain. Yeah, that is the I one that is the thing. one thing that will destroy a man psychologically, yes. at least temporarily. So it's one thousand percent fucking worse when women cheat. Unless yeah. you're unless you're yes, honest. Yes, I agree. Hundred percent. Yeah, unless you're Adam. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Does anyone else uh, agree with her that it's worse when a woman uh, when a man cheats on his girl? Who else agrees with her? I when women kind of, listen, hold on, hold on, raise of hands. Who else agrees? Y'all don't need to agree with me. I kind of agree. Though. Well, you yeah, took I, the, I, the opposite stance a second ago. No, 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 no I see where he was um, coming from. Like, okay, I understand. So, who agrees from. that it's worse when a uh, man cheats? No. Oh, put it up there now. Put it up there now. I'll go again. No, no, okay. I, I like, only, I only kind of agree just because I'm super emotional. And if I feel like men, when they, men have to work to get a woman. Like, you actually have to put in work. Yes. Women, it's. It's not easy for women to get guys because guys already what? want. It's it's not easy because it's already what they want. Look, I'll put it so to you this way. So, so are you saying it's worse or better then? Because if it's easy for for a, so I'm you're saying, saying like a man has to put in more effort. Yeah, in I mean, order to... so if you're in a relationship, at least in my relationships with my guy, when he when he stepped out, mm. he had to put in work with this girl. Like, so that makes you, you feel to, worse. To yeah, you. like because it's like, damn, you you're putting in all this work over here. Like she got your attention. She's doing all this stuff. Like mentally and emotionally, she got your attention, and I'm over here stuck in the house. But and she's what's willing going to on. take that back, though. You're no, willing to I'm, take that. That's back. the one that I didn't take back because I didn't see any potential in him. He wasn't doing. Uh, he wasn't a great father. Okay. He wasn't a great son. He wasn't a great man. Wait, so you give him kids. Yeah, so, no, no so kids, no you, kids. You give him a pass if he actually has potential or ambitious yeah. to be greater. <laughs> yeah, if if, yes. he, if he can grow, like. But if, if it's a deadbeat, then no. Yo, no, check if, this no, out. I mean, like overall, like you can't really be shitty in every aspect. <laughs> like, well, pick, choose yeah. your damn choose your down poison. Yeah. 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 Listen, the listen. They both summed it up. If your value is high enough, your girl will for a uh, girl, your girl will forg will forgive your cheating. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like the hotter a woman is, the more we tend. Here's the here here's here's how it goes. If you're worth ten figures, you can have your wife and your side bitch mm -hmm. sleeping in the same bedroom, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If you're worth seven figures, you can have a side chick. Maybe she lives in the guest house. If you're worth upper six figures, your woman can know about the side chick as long <laughs> as she doesn't know too much. If you're not making six figures, you ain't cheating. That's the way it goes. <laughs> so so what, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what it really comes down to is what does he provide for me? How does he add value to my life? Okay, so he stuck his dick in another chick, which by the way, is nothing for us. It's like shaking a hand. That's why it's worse when a woman cheats because yeah. we yeah. know there was That's emotion I involved. Paul yeah. always says, cheating yeah. is a rich as more. Is that rich man's fault? No, no, but, but but women, it's worse when women cheat because women tend to cheat emotionally. Exactly. Whereas That's dudes, women are okay yeah. with their men dudes, cheating because they're taking care of them. No, but dudes, so it's, it's just, different. dudes, it's like, to have sex, it's not, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's just, like it's just a, a physical activity. act. It's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's quick, like water skiing, you know? She mentioned earlier, your man won't cheat. Why'd you say that? The man for you won't cheat. Why'd you say that? Because I'm gonna make sure he's well taken care of. <laughs> I agree. Because I take care of my man. This is really good. So you think you can satisfy your man by yourself? A hundred percent. Wow, but mm -hmm. it's, it's not. It's a nice. And, little, it's and, a, and not, if I can't, yeah. he's not the man for me. How many? Well, then you're gonna. Then I you're going to. Say, yeah. Here's the deal. She was right. No man is going to be perfect. But let me ask you this: What do you look for in a man? What, describe your perfect man in 15 seconds or less. 15 seconds or less. My perfect man: loyalty. Oh, I like that's all like um, respect. Going. Okay. 
um, being able to have a conversation with you, mutual agreement. Um, I'm all about being open, but I'm also all about... Let me stop you right there. There are millions of men out there, yet you're single. You're not looking for that. You're looking for a man who can take care of you, and that's okay. No, no, it's I'm okay. I'm not because I can take care of myself. Well, I just go got queen. out of a seven-year relationship. Go Hang on. Look, seven years. Look, look, look. The men that you say you want, you won't want. You okay. can tell... Listen, there are many loyal men who are open to having conversations who are short and fat and don't have any game and don't have anything going for themselves. So you have to acquire more than just loyalty. Mm -hmm. And oh, by the way, oh, by the way, we don't cheat. We exercise options. Mm -hmm. You don't know what me, you want to, if I cheat on my girl, that's me buying another girl a fucking car for Christmas. That's me putting up, uh, putting up another girl in some apartment somewhere so I can go and mm -hmm. smash her mm -hmm. when the wife isn't home. That's male cheating. You see, when men cheat, men, we, we provide loyalty through provisioning. We've had this conversation before. And this is why cheating doesn't hurt women as much is because you guys not to say that if you find out your man cheats You're not hurt. It does hurt on some level, but in your hind brain you're thinking, okay Is this girl like it, 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 are there any diseases? Did he get her pregnant, right? That's what you're thinking about your bottom line. Yes, there is the emotional There's the emotional scars that come with that, but you know at the end of the day It's like taking a piss for us So and I think a lot of women like to pretend that cheating is a much bigger deal to them than it really is as an excuse to just say, well, he's not the man for me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Those men that are not for you, guess what? They got women chasing them around because those women no one understand. There's going to be inherent risk with any situation. If you get with the top guy, guess what? He's going to exercise options. Yep. That's and all he's also going yeah. to exercise an STD. Well, no, 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 hold on, hold on. That is, dude, that is such, that is such a, hold on. No, that is a piss poor bullshit answer. When's the last time you, uh, you fucked with a guy with an STD? Yeah, no. I'm not willing to take that risk. Then I see, oh, oh, well, Especially in Miami. You well, gotta see for, where we're from. You gotta for, see where we're from. Good, yeah, good for you. STDs the point is, is STDs are not nearly as prevalent as everybody says they are. This city you is just, disgusting. I need you to quit interrupting me. Okay. Okay. What it really comes down to, and she nailed it, depending upon the value your man gives you and the way he makes you feel, the way he provides for you, you're going to have to put up with certain things. Mm -hmm. I provide my woman with a certain lifestyle. If I want to go fuck another bitch, I'm going to go fucking do it. Yes. And you want to know something? If she wants to fucking leave, I got 12 other bitches that are waiting to take her place. That's Preach. the facts. Those are the facts. That's not misogynistic. That's, that's just exactly the fucking truth. Listen I, listen, I love my woman, and if she were to leave me tomorrow, it would break my heart for about 10 minutes, and then I'd be right back on the horse. Love my girl, but this is how it is. So I don't I, I, I don't want to sit here and, and, and guys, this was bad advice. Girls don't want fucking loyalty. They want provisioning. And that's okay. Guys, we don't want, we don't need Disney princesses. We want girls who look good, cook good, suck good, and give us yes. sex at the end of the night. And don't give us a bunch of fucking lip. If you do that for us, we'll fucking give you the world. Do you agree with him or no? No, I don't agree. I, okay. I strongly okay. agree. With Have you noticed strongly. as well? I do. Have you noticed as well though? When there's an infidelity, then the guy is always like, "Oh, so what? So uh, did you fuck him? Like, what was his? What was his dick like? You know, what was the sex like? And all <laughs> What's that." What's the first then, question then, girls ask? Yeah, What's the in, first girl you ask your man if he cheats? What's the first question? Do you love her? Do you love her? Do you exactly. wear condoms? Thank you. Do you wear exactly. condoms? Yeah. Exactly. But that proves the fucking <laughs> point because it's about the provision. And, and look, there are guys who come on the, who, who've come on this show before. They they have argued very high value guys, and they will say, "Listen." My woman is my fucking top priority of my life. I love her to fucking death. I would die for that woman. She gets all of my provisioning. She is, she is the fucking queen. But well. I'm a man, and what that means is that sometimes I want to have a little bit of variety. And if I fuck the waitress, if I fuck the barista, mm -hmm. if I fuck, you know, some random girl in some, you know, sort of sort of Mexico or something like that, does it really fucking matter? No. In the in the wider context of that relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's like the fucking difference. But as he said, when a woman does it to a man, he's fucking destroyed yep. mm. because it's the biological reaction to that act, which yep. is just it's intolerable. It's emotional for her. Exactly. Yeah. It's emotional, and that's the thing that fucks it up. Look, here, you guys have been sold a myth. If a man loves you, he won't cheat on you. False. If a man loves you, he won't let you find out he's smashing other yeah. guys. <laughs> right? And the more you mean to him, the more covert he will be with his extracurricular oh, 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 affairs. Oh, 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 that's how it is. If Alternatively, there, there's the other argument. You. There's the other way of doing it, which is that he's up front with you straight away. So from the beginning, yeah. he's like, listen, babe, you're fucking awesome. I think you're great. I really see us having a future together. However... You know, amazingly, I'm a dude. What that means is that I like variety and maybe occasionally I'm going to step out, but that doesn't affect anything between us. That's and communication. So you could, you could start with that. Well, well, here's, well, here's the thing. Question for you. If okay. he told you that from the very beginning, would you still be upset? 
No, because I know what I was getting myself into. Right. Yeah, exactly. So if you lay the cards out on the table, then I'm good with that because I have an option. It's when you don't give me an option. Hang on, she's lying. And what, so basically what we're saying, <laughs> she's lying, she's full of shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't be, listen, don't be honest with women, guys. Yeah. Women want to be lied to. Women I reward men. Say, what, say whatever you want. Women reward men who lie to them. Listen, if you're living that kind of lifestyle, if you're that fucking dude, your girl knows you're going to be fucking other bitches any goddamn way. There's no need to have that conversation with her. When a man and a woman get gets together, there is an unwritten understanding. You provide me with the exclusive sex. I provide you with the provisioning. Any deviation from that means the end of the relationship. She doesn't have to know about the other side, bitches. Real shit. I don't, uh, Donovan, I don't disagree with what you're saying. I'm just, yeah. but there are, there are dudes. I mean, I've seen Justin Waller make this argument. Oh, that's uh, Justin Waller, I, yeah. I think, um, who else is it? Sorry, uh, there's a, there's another content creator I've seen who's who's made this argument for what you know like radical honesty. Myron, <laughs> Me, well, 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 you know, I, I mean, Andrew, person, probably Andrew, yeah. Andrew, 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 Andrew I think is I think I think yeah. the Tates as as well. I mean, yeah. I'm somewhat I, I get where you're coming from as well though. I think that the the th and this it comes back to value again, doesn't it? If you're a fucking high value dude mm -hmm. in in all of the the, the metrics that, that that means. You probably can have that conversation. If you're Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> or Troy Francis. Hey. Or Troy Francis, you can have that conversation, right? If you are working in Publix and you're fucking five foot four yeah. and you, you've got a fucking dad bod, can you have that conversation? It's you not, can, it's not a good idea. It, yeah. oh, yeah. So it, it, again, you, know, you guys you guys look for value in men because yeah. you know ultimately you want provisioning and, and that's fucking fine. You know, we should I'm just be honest it. about it. Question for you. If your man said to you today, you know what, babe, I love you with all my heart, but I messed up. I slept with a girl. Would you leave him? No. Why? <laughs> At a girl. Absolutely not. Why? Because he's been good to me in every other area that I need. Okay. Translation, no, that no, big no, game no. on point, though, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know. I don't know what that I didn't want to like. interrupt yeah. that, train of, uh, that train of conversation, but you were saying you're going to be enough for your guy. Who else on the panel thinks that they're, they can sexually satisfy their man by themselves? Raise your hands. Yeah. Oh, you're all delusional. All of you. Okay, all hold, of hold on, I just want to get a measure. I want to get a, a body of work here. Raise your hands nice and high if you think you can sexually satisfy your man by yourself. Okay, that's a majority <clears throat> of the women on the panel. Okay, so a couple of you no, like... don't think you can do it yourself. <laughs> yeah? Yes or no? No, 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 I was joking. I was Are just like, kind of. Kind of? Okay. She's okay. in the early throws of romance. <laughs> okay. You uh, ain't never had no pussy like this, nigga. <laughs> She's giving it to him like that. But you know what? Like, no, 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 no. I have the gold of pussy. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, now, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, real quick. For those same girls that think that they can sexually satisfy their man by themselves, is that why you don't think that uh, men should cheat? You, it's, you wouldn't accept it? No. Ooh. Is that why? I think um, that's right, yeah. Go ahead. I believe because a lot of girls not even flexible. Enough. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of, a lot hey, of females are stiff as hell. That's hey. true. Hey. That's true. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey, Myron, about, Myron. Like, being a dance instructor, a lot it's of girls a, are true. stiff as hell, hey. so they don't yeah. even know what they're doing. Well, that's that's true. You should come to London. You should come to London. Fuck, man. Yo, Myron made a I'm just saying, just like, I'm just saying in real life. I'm sorry, just in real life. A lot of girls are stiff as fuck. <laughs> okay, so are you saying that the more flexible woman is, the no, less the, likely she'll be cheated on? No, I, no, that's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm what just saying, saying a yeah. lot of girls are stiff as hell, so they don't even know how to have sex for real. What you guys have got this all wrong, man. But we're, we're just, <laughs> okay. just I'm just yeah. saying. Like, I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm you just think, saying. Okay, so you me think, being a oh, you think quality sex is what will keep men from cheating. I no. mean, oh, I no, don't no, know no. what no, keeps no, no, men no from cheating. No, like, no, because no, I haven't personally slow. been cheated on. I've only been in two real relationships my whole life. Uh -oh. So, But you said um, you can sexually satisfy a man by yourself, I can. Right? I can. I can. I really can. <laughs> Mm. No one woman can sexually satisfy. That, that's that's a fucking point. No, when it comes to fuck your man, and he was still go shit. Literally, no, because look, there's one thing. There's literally. one thing that a, that a single woman cannot give to a man. However fucking flexible she is, whether she what, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can't give a man variety. Exactly. Mm. That's the fucking yeah. problem that you've yeah. all that, that, that you've all got. You cannot give a man variety. <laughs> and a man and ultimately a man wants fucking variety, and that's why you get these couples who try and like fucking spice things up. Mm -hmm. You know. She 
comes in wearing a wig. Always and, a you know, sort of say I mean, always will be a man, no matter what. Exactly. So the sex, and this is the fucking problem. The sex can be fucking amazing. Yep. And it probably is for the first, like, I don't know, six, three months, six months, a year, whatever. Three, four, and then it starts to, and we all know, well, yeah, three minutes with me, but, you know, and then, oh, and then we all know it starts to get a little bit fucking boring. Mm -hmm. It starts to get a little bit samey. It starts yeah. to get a little bit, and at that point, you know. If you don't give it to her, he's going to look for her. Ex well, I'd rather exactly. give it to so, my so for the guy, Exactly. Not, I'd rather give it to her so he don't do it behind so my the, back. No, no, but for, no, but for the, the guy, it, you know? mm -hmm. not only is the sex getting boring, but also he's programmed to want to fuck other women. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's no wonder that this, this is happening. You understand what I mean? So a single woman, however great she is in bed, however amazing a person she is, she cannot fully sexually satisfy a guy, particularly over the long term. Mm -hmm. I'll put it to you like this. Men and women both have to work for what they want. Men, we want to get paid and we want to get laid. So that's that's what we do. If you want to get paid and get laid, you have to be competent. You have to you have to know how to make money. You gotta you gotta be a badass. The ultimate goal for women is to belong to a high status, high value man. And the way to do that is not to be fucking around. The way to do that is to be is to be as sexually chaste as possible. So men like you got to understand, like a lot of people think we just come on here and talk shit about women. No, we're hard on guys, too. You can't be a fucking loser living in your basement at your mom's house talking about I need a dime piece. Yeah. <laughs> but by the same token, you can't be some you can't be some fat hoe with a bunch of tattoos talking about I need my man to be six, six with a six foot dick. You have you, you, you <laughs> get, at the end end of the day you get what you deserve and if you're a man if you don't have the woman that you deserve that means you haven't earned it yet if you're a woman who doesn't have the man that you deserve it means you haven't earned it yet ladies i have one question for you on the panel if you don't mind okay before you finish the line of questioning though or did this, it have to do with this yeah. okay go ahead this, this real quick yeah what is the best pussy New what? pussy. You said yeah. New pussy. Yeah. The best sex you'll ever have with a woman is the first time you have yeah, sex sure. with her. Okay. Um, what about you? Is cheating ever acceptable in your eyes? This is going back to Troy's original question. No, never. But I also was going to say, if you want a variety, why don't you just stay single? Well, I am Agreed. single. So I, I would I would not disagree with that. And I think I think there's an issue with dudes getting married and then you know. Yeah, well, the reason funny. why um, I don't stay single is because life with my woman is better than my life without it. Mm -hmm. Right? I would live a great life without my woman. There's no doubt. But my life is better with her in it. Literally, that's all like there is how? to it. I want to be taken care of. I'm sorry. Like how? Like Are you kidding me? Dude, my woman, oh my God, dude, my woman cooks, she cleans, she runs the whole back half of my business. So you would only be She's sad for 10 minutes if you lost all of that? I would what now? You would only be sad for 10 minutes if you lost oh, all of that. You're goddamn right. I but would. I feel like... <laughs> because, <laughs> guess, because guess what? Someone because, else is going to no, do it. Hold on. I was going to say anyone Please, hey, hey, do stop, it. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, what? Anyone can do what? Cook, clean. Anyone can cook. Clean. Oh, you're talking uh -huh. about a woman. I thought, I thought yeah. she was talking about the man. No, not everyone. You know what? Every woman can cook and clean. But guess what? Most women don't. So there I you go. Some women don't. Right now. There you Some go. women don't. But. Nope. How many, how many of y'all can cook? I, I can cook. I can cook. Hit the stop the cat button right now. No, <laughs> we talk about the so we so culture. culture. If we don't so cook, we The real question is how often do you cook? It's a real question. Just because I, she can doesn't mean she will cook. Right. So you said yeah. no. Uh, why do you mind. think it's unacceptable for women to, to cheat under um, any circumstances? Just stay single. That's why. Just stay single. No, I'm not okay. doing that. What about, I'm a man. What about you? Uh, is it ever acceptable for a female to cheat? So I would say that some people could justify it by like, oh, he cheated on me first, but... Right, right, and then and then some people would be like, okay, I'll cheat back. But yeah. in my personal opinion, I really think that it's a no. And I think someone said it too. It's just break up, just break up. Yep, know exactly. your worth. Be know single. that wh whatever the case may be, whatever. Um, if that's how you're feeling, like that didn't sit right with you, don't cheat back and and stoop to a level or anything like that. Just be done and that's it exactly. just keep no, it moving be done. Exactly. i think a lot of women yeah, really need to talk to the wives and girlfriends of high status men i think you guys yeah. could learn a lot yeah. from those women i think they could give you some pretty good perspective on the reason why cheating for a man really ain't that big a deal. it's not as big a deal as you guys make it out to be it's just literally sex <laughs> what about okay, you what if it's just sex for a woman it's, it's never just never sex just for a woman. Women are twins. I don't there think we go. that men <laughs> because of sex. Yeah. I think that sometimes men cheat because of the stress that Stop they have talking. at home. Stop talking. Men cheat because of sex. That but was complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I think it's because of the stress that they have at home too. Because mm -hmm. some women, the first thing they do when they make 
get back home is fucking fine. Okay, that makes sense. And not about anything. Yeah. All right. Men well, don't want to hear that shit when they get back that, home. That, that might be true. They want to get their dick sucked. That might be, that that might be true. That, 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 that might be a it. mitigating factor. But <laughs> they, the they, want, they want me to <laughs> wait for them when I have male at home. So that might, be, that might be true. That, but that's, a mitigating, that's a mitigating like, factor. The main reason why men cheat is because they like fresh pussy. And that's, that's the fucking yes. fact. It's not really? about if she's in a bad mood. It's not about if the fucking so washing machine breaks. fresh pussy. Sorry? It's all about fresh pussy. Yes, yes. absolutely. Fresh pussy. I agree to that too because who the fuck wants to eat the same shit every day? Exactly. There you go. You don't get tired? Exactly. Ladies, look, they want a hot meal. Say. Don't they take want a hot meal. <laughs> listen, don't, and listen, Yo. ladies, ladies, please, please. Don't. T I'm, I'm telling you right now, from the bottom of my heart, to all of your future boyfriends who are going to cheat on you, don't, don't listen, wow. listen, listen. Don't take it personally. It's nothing personal. Women yeah, cheat for so many reasons. They cheat for vengeance and revenge. Men, we just cheat because we see a hot girl, we want to fuck her. That's it. It's nothing personal. Yeah. Dude, if I have ever cheated on my woman, dude, the thing is, is we, our feelings for our women does not increase or decrease when we have sex with Absolutely. other women. It if, does happen. It does happen from time to time. But most of the time, when, when there's a guy who knows what he wants and he has his woman, he's got the woman he wants. Sometimes it can increase your feeling for, for the main chick. How okay. it so, matter how <laughs> yeah, good right? she suck your dick, how good she fuck you, it don't matter how Yo, side <laughs> <bitches> <laughs> <get> <laughs> you want me she is, it don't matter. All right. Uh, okay, they all want to she no matter what. We got one more. Keep it pushing. We got one more here. All right, all right so it. you said no, just leave. All right, what about you? Is it ever acceptable for a woman to cheat on her guy? No, it's not acceptable. Hell no. All right. Uh, why not? Um, why not? I just feel like cheating on both sides is not acceptable. Like if y'all loyal to each other, just be loyal. Okay. What yeah. about you? No, I don't feel like it's acceptable. Everyone's coming out with like, silence. Everybody. Well, yeah, I've been cheated on. Okay. Unfortunately, but I've We've never cheated. We've all been cheated on. You date niggas, you know you get cheated on. Shit, it builds character. You already know what time that is. Yeah. This is my first black guy, so give me a break. Wait, <laughs> say what? It's my first black guy. Oh, that's Cap. You uh, came in here with braids last time, baby girl. Don't you know that's the reason I'm I asked you that question in the first place? Uh, Troy, you got a second black. question? Um, all right, who... <sighs> You want we to could, first I have a question. We could, we could continue. We could continue <laughs> on the same theme, and we could ask, "Who cheats more, men and women, and men or women, and why?" Hmm. Women cheat so more. Where, who do we start? Who do we start we with? We start on the couch and then work our okay. way backward. So, who cheats more, men or women, and why? Why do you think that? women? It's yeah. It's obviously women. <laughs> why? Everybody's gonna say men, but it's obviously women. Why? I don't know. Women just they get unhappy at home, and then they go looking for other things. More opportunities. Just mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. Right, what about you? Pretty much. I think men, because a lot of men think with their penis. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. but, but that doesn't mean we cheat more. Do they have the same access as women, though? Do, is it? No. Do they have the same availability to what cheat? What do you mean? Yes, well, do they, they, is it as easy for a man to cheat as for a woman yes, to cheat? Yes, it is. No. Like, I'm stop. around men. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm around men that party a lot. <sighs> mm -hmm. And yeah, we know. just the status, not even like that, but like just the status that they have, a lot of women are on them. Like, the Listen, status. ladies, hold on. Not to cut you off. I'm about to change all of your lives. The reason why you guys think men cheat more is because... 95% of men are invisible to you sexually. She just sat here and told you, I'm around men all the time. High status. No, 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 no. no. Don't let, mm, mm, no, 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 no. You said men of status. Mm -hmm. Only the top 10% of men are regularly getting pussy. Those are the only men that are visible to the naked eye from the average rank and file woman. And so when you ask a woman who cheats more, men or women, you're not thinking about 100% of men. You're thinking about the 10% of men you pay attention mm -hmm. to, which is only the top 10% of men. So anytime there is a data set, understand your data set's flawed because you're only thinking about the men you want to fuck. Absolutely. All right, let me simplify it. Um, mm -hmm. You said, you, he asked before, do you think it's easier for men or women to cheat? You said oh, men. It's definitely easy. Not right? even high status men, like men that they think may have something, they don't really have anything. Women are Oh, those all are bum niggas. Women are easy. <laughs> Okay. Um, so Some women said, are very easy. You said before they have status and or easy well, status, status, right? Well, status. Well, where or purported it, status, basic, right? Yeah. But is it easy to have well, status she, and or even purport status? No, it's not. So therefore, wouldn't it be fair to say, logically sound, that it's not easier for men to get laid like you think it is? It is easy for men to get laid. You just contradicted. I kind of did. It oh, is no. not easy for men to get laid. It is, it is in a way. It no, is. no, 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 no. Hold hey, on. this is Look, simple, bro. This, this, this is very simple. Yeah, how many niggas you, you fuck normally? None. There it is. 
<laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> look, 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 the, the deal is this. Even high, like Leonardo DiCaprio does not have as many people sliding into his DMs as maybe you, you, or even you. That's real shit. It is, that is how hard it is for guys to get laid. That's why when we get to the point where we can start getting laid, we don't want to stop getting laid. Mm -hmm. we, dude, I didn't, I'm going to tell you what. I didn't work all this time and make all this money <laughs> to just be fucking one chick. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it, look, it is what it is. And, and look, if my woman wants to be ego invested, I can't believe he cheated on me like you. You've got an ego problem. Fine. You can leave the car keys. You can go off and find you a loyal man who's not going to do shit for you. But if you want to live the life you live, if you want to walk into any department store and not have to check your fucking bank account when you want to buy something, come and see me. Right. Ooh, was that orange juice? <laughs> uh, what about you? Do you think men or women cheat more for you? Oh, um... I honestly want to say I don't know, but I would probably yeah, say, uh, yeah, I would probably say, um, I mean, I would probably say men. Okay. Uh, why? Why? What makes you think that? Um, I, I honestly like throughout this chat as well is like, it's, it's kind of considered nothing for a man. Right. So like, you're just whatever, like, it's just, it's just kind of act. a fun thing. It's just the same act, mental reservations. So. That's okay. right. What about you? I say men. Okay, why? Um, like you said, because vi variety, and like they can't keep their dick they want, in their pants. Because they want variety. <laughs> like okay. every time they go out, ooh, titties, ass. Okay. Because right, they want variety. Right. All right, what about you? Um, I guess the same man as as her. You think men because they want variety? Yeah. Okay, interesting. All right, what about you? Who do you think cheats more, men or women? Why? Can I say both? If you had to pick one, maybe okay, fifty-one percent, forty-nine percent. Okay, I say women because. The, uh, we have more oceans and mm -hmm. we're more slick about it. Mm. Mm. Like when women mm -hmm. cheese, okay. men yeah. barely find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when men cheat, like women always find Everybody out. Everybody knows. That's, That's true. I don't That's know. Very true. Okay. What about you? What about you? Um, so initially I was going to say men, but I'm going to keep it on filter with you guys. Okay. So women, like she said, sneakier, better at lying, better at hiding things. Number two, really emotional. So they'll do it for the revenge. They'll do it because they're mad at you. They'll do it because you didn't take out the trash three nights in a row. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, my I'm exaggerating a little bit there, but you get what I mean. The emotions. Okay. Yeah. The emotions drives them to Wait, cheat. How do you know this? And they the have easy man. access how, because, how because I, I worked at Hooters for like uh -oh. seven years with 80 other girls uh. listening to them talk about cheating on their men all the time. Really? Oh. Yeah. So what about, what about hormones as well? Do you think the hormonal cycle changes things as Definitely, well? Definitely. That has to do with the emotional part. Certain point. They yeah. are more busy working too, like, so what makes she the most? Like, they be cheating the while they're working. We don't right. Right. What about, you? What about you? you? I think men do. Okay. Oh my God, this Especially, is like, if you're, if, if the man has money, like, <laughs> I, I just think that, you know, he has the ability Literally to kind of be able to do what he wants. Um, and the woman's going to deal with it, especially if he's taking care of hold her. Hold on, hold on, real fast, though. Mm. But remember, he asked the question, who do you think cheats more, men or women? You're using the caveat of if a man has money. Do you think a majority of men have money? No, Bingo. I don't. But, so, but the ones who don't aren't really, they're not getting laid. Like, they're not really, it's the, not that so as easy they, as are it. are they actually cheating them? No. Remember the question at hand. No. If they, I, probably not, because they probably, no, I wouldn't think so. Well, there you go. So, I don't see all right, so, but you don't think they're cheating as much. Contradicts she knows. So you think that girl? I still, you just I still think, mind. and I also <laughs> think that men like it's easier for them to make the decision, whereas like a woman's gonna contemplate it more before sure. she actually does it. But women, right. I mean, I, I was asking before about who's more sexual, men or women, and, and my suspicion is actually it's women. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I reckon actually women are you guys are kind of horn dogs under the nice polite surface, yeah. and it's sort of like. You know, I think women are acting on that because they've got a fuck ton of opportunities as well, right? That's you true. Know? Mm -hmm. So that's let me ask theory. you guys a quick question. Oh, let me just finish real quick. Oh, sorry, yeah. uh, so you said you think men cheat more mm -hmm. if they have money? Yeah. But that's a minority of men. Mm. Yeah, and the other ninety percent. The other ninety percent. I mean, if they even have a girlfriend or have a, a you know a significant other that's loyal to them, <laughs> so they can't awesome. cheat more. Okay, the math is a math, but I'm just going to move on. She works in a law office. Yeah, that's probably why. Hey, well, yeah, she doesn't come work for a better argument than that. Yeah, yeah. Right? that's why she's a paralegal, not a lawyer. All right, what about you? I think that women cheat more because um, we. Easy access. No, not easy access. No, I'm just saying that's one of them. No, one of them. also because. 
You have the guy that pays for your nails. You have the guy that's paying your rent. All these people that are all these things. These, you have not all the time. <laughs> not, but I'm saying, let's be real. Like, let's be real. Like right now, the way that all these females are moving, the way that everyone's moving, everyone's trying to capitalize off someone. Everyone's trying to mooch or get something. At least females that don't have the money that are trying to come up. So what do you have? You got the friend that pays for your lunch. You got the friend that's over mm -hmm. here cash apping you for your nails. Yeah. All that shit is cheating. If you got a well, man... But if we're talking about sex. But even with sex, yeah. what you think they're just going to put out? Are they cash apping you for Wait, nothing? Yes. So these women are fucking all the those men? Is, yes. How do you know this? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. How do you know this? Okay, okay so for our starters, I worked, I worked at a bar. So I had I saw all the girls and I just saw how they moved and then with the guys like you see all the guys are they're quick to move in and it's the girl that has to choose yep. this one this one likes he loves the way I smell mira me compró un perfume he bought me a perfume this one wants my nails to always be nice there are guys like they literally hit you. oh my god you have beautiful feet here's this money for your feet I like I, uh, it, can I just say by the way I like the way everyone on this panel it's been like um, so yeah some women cheat how do you know oh because I worked in a bar because my friend because I talked no, no, to these no, other definitely. girls nobody on the panel's like nobody on the panel's like yeah I fucking cheat, cheat. Yeah. No, yeah. Wait, you <laughs> hear it all the time everyone on the chat everyone on this panel is a fucking angel no it's I'm amazing. not an angel no, no, definitely I'm not, not an angel, angel. um <laughs> <laughs> No, no woman on this panel has ever cheated. No, 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 no woman no, no. on this panel has ever done anything wrong. It's well, only I these did. other hoes over well, here. No, my last seen... relationship, I cheated. But it was because oh, I was okay. exiting. I was, okay. that was my, I was doing my big one before I left. So that's, yeah, okay. So that's what I was talking <laughs> about before. Because I yeah. think women will sometimes go to the... <laughs> yeah, you know, that was the money drop. Yeah. 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 Wait, okay. so to Sorry. summarize, you think women cheat more because they're able to put men in compartmentalized yeah. roles where they're benefiting? Absolutely. They benefit from men in different stuff. What about you? I think... um that women for sure cheat more than men. Why do you say that? I think that women are a little bit selfish sometimes because our man, you know, we could have everything in front of us in the sense of we have him working, he's mm, paying the bills, he's doing all these things, but we're out here chasing the things that we shouldn't be chasing. Excitement. Right. Excitement, because right. it gets a bit fucking the boring, doesn't it? Well, here's the thing, Great let me correct you on that. And I think we're okay. just like men. A little bit undercovered, but we're just a little sneakier. It's mm. not only that, mm. women mistake stability for boredom and yep. end up fucking up really good relationships. Exactly, I agree. Ah. And for all of you women who think men cheat more, let me ask all of you a question. If me and, I don't know, you, if somebody came in here and said, I will give you a million dollars if you can go out there and fuck more guys, Whoever gets laid most gets a million dollars. Who's gonna win, you or me? The woman. woman. Hold on, hold on. Why is that? Mm. Because it's easy. Anybody's. I can go to the gas station. That's yeah, yeah men are looking right. to the hold on, hold on, hold on. to the club anywhere. Okay. For well, men, you guys have to put a little bit more work. Yeah. A little bit. A lot. A lot. You, I'll give it to you. A and lot. would you just fuck anybody? No. Of course not. What would you say is the percentage of men you find unattractive? Damn. Most. Yeah. How about ninety percent? Ninety five percent. There it is. There yeah. it is. Listen, just because women it, look, here's the deal, guys. I don't like. I've come to figure. I've come to sort of figure this out. Are there good? And I talk, said this on the last podcast. There are good. There are some inherently good women and some inherently bad women. Most women and men fall somewhere in between high risk or low risk mm -hmm. or somewhere in between. The more risk she is, the more you have to mitigate it. The less of a risk she is, the less you have to mitigate. <sighs> That's what it comes down to. Mm. Doesn't make you bad people. It's just, you know, don't be fucking other niggas. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so I'll read the chats real quick. Um, and then I think one of the ladies might have had a question for the panel. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back around. Yeah, we'll come back around for the ladies if they had a question. All right. So Triga Trigona goes, uh, ladies, want a long term uh, committed relationship? What's the longest you've gone without giving it up to your man? Shout out for Neff. Uh oh. That's very, very good, actually. Uh, okay, we can go around the panel yeah. on that one real fast. Uh, what's the longest you've went without giving it up to your guy in a relationship? Go ahead. Wait, like it was Sex. my boyfriend? Yeah. It was a guy that you were seeing somewhat serious. seriously. You were seeing each other. We'll yeah. just say that. Oh, but he wasn't my boyfriend yet. Not yet. Oh. Well, well, as long as you made him wait. If he's not my boyfriend, I'm not having sex with him. <sighs> well, I agree. Are you saying oh, you've, never, you've never had sex with a guy that wasn't your boyfriend Don't before? Don't cap. No, I have, oh my but God. like, that's like one night stands. So okay. It's not seen. Oh, okay. that's definitely What's though. the longest that you ever exactly. made a guy wait then? Until we got in a relationship. And how long was that? <laughs> Two hours? Two years? No. <laughs> no. Me and my boyfriend right now, we got it. We were four, we've been together for months, but we got together a month after like actually knowing each other. So you made him wait a month? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. What about What about you? Um... 
I it just wait. depends. Yeah. Three yeah, months to <laughs> it could be three months to six months. What's the longest you actually made a guy wait? Six months. Six right. months. Oh my God. What about you? <sighs> three. All right. You? <laughs> like a few months. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you said three, and then how much for you? Like three, two. Okay. You? Mm -hmm. A couple months. Is that two? What's a couple? I don't. I don't know. Is it three? I mean, Is it two? Is it four? Three, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What about you? Three months. I said we started going on dates. I waited three months it's to like have sex with him. Okay. Yeah. okay. What about you? Um, are we talking about somebody that we're in a relationship with or somebody that's Seeing. trying to pursue us? Yeah, oh, someone that's wow. trying. It, it could be either or. Okay, so somebody that you. I've been in a relationship with, I get my period for six days, so six days. Okay. <laughs> and then somebody trying to pursue me, I've waited up to three months as well. Okay, so okay. long as three. All right, what about you? you? I was period? like two months. Two months, all right. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Um, so in a relationship, I don't, we don't, no, I'm not, we're not allowed to say no. So it doesn't matter like what it is, like sex. No, I mean like away. a guy that was pursuing you, like so what's pursuing? the longest you made him wait? Yeah. Pursuing, I would say like three months. Okay. What about you? Yeah, three months. I think the only one that doesn't wait this, a month. This uh, pursuing thing months? though, it's a little bit of a gray area because I guess I guess what we're talking about more is if you're like sort of your date, like if it's some guy and you met him and he's messaging you and it's going backwards and forwards yeah. and it's taking a while. That's slightly different. I think what we're I guess what we're more interested in is if you guys are actually fucking seeing each other okay. and then you'll say you know and it's like right we're dating you're meeting up every week going for drinks and he's like trying to make the moves and you're like no 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 and then you're making him wait three months. But it sounds like you're. You're not doing that. It's more like if it's a longer. Like she knows five he's dates. Interested. Like There's five a... dates. Yeah. Yeah. There's a guy. Five dates. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's yeah. A, Actually, to me, it's fucking unbelievable. Like, who are these guys who are waiting fucking I'm three gonna months? I'm going to be honest with you. It depends the on the ninety percent of men that women are not attracted so, to. Real quick, I had a question. You said three months, right? Most of you guys said three months. Yeah, yeah most. In that so, period of time, he's getting Are you fucking else. anybody else? Yep. Be honest. Don't cap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So, so why, else? Yeah, yeah. why would you have to pursue we could go around, yeah. Were you, were you, were you were smashing somebody else when you made him wait those three months? No, because we were going out. Like, okay. What about you? It wasn't a no. thing. No. No. Stop. Stop, Stop the cap. What about you? <laughs> no, three months. If I'm dating you, I'm dating you. All my time is on you. So why'd you make him wait cap. three months I don't got then? time. <laughs> why'd you make him wait three months then? What do you mean? Why would I make him wait three months? Because that's how you'll if know what a guy's guy, intention is. If, but if you, I have to read him well, first. His I have intention to, is to smash. I have What's to try it? to make him put in a little work, chase a little about bit. You? But you I seeing... also said depends on the man. Yeah. Were you I did seeing say anybody else when, uh, when you were making the guy wait for three months? No, I wasn't. Yes, but that was when we are talking and going on dates. Like, I made him wait three months to have sex. What about the guy in the But in total, I had a guy that chased me for three years. What about okay. the guy? Oh, three what, years to fuck okay. What about the guy the, in the in the bathroom in the, on the airplane? Wait. What about the guy in the bathroom on the airplane? <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that three months? Nah, he didn't. No, 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 to be honest, that was my photographer. I know him for like two years. That sounds like a poor movie, bro. We'll be out walking in Dubai, so yeah. So why not? Why not give him a blow? I got some content on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dish. I can't hit on the plane, on the Emirates plane. Have you, heard, have you heard the rumors about the girls that go to Dubai? Yes, I, I heard. Okay. Party. And and I went with my own money, so. Okay, so I you've never. This. No. Hey, I did never. not wait for that. I didn't want to the wife for that. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> oh my god, she fucking did it. <laughs> she did it. I know. What the fuck, All right. Uh, okay, what about you? Were you seeing someone in that three months that you made someone made him wait? Um, I mean, no, like if I'm um, about him. About him. Hold on. So that three months you oh, didn't see shit. anyone else, you're only seeing him. But yeah, you still I'm made him wait three months. I'm all about loyalty, yeah. All right, what about you? No, not seeing anybody. When you made him wait for three months? All right, what about you? I mean, if you're exclusive to that person, you guys are going back and forth dating. No, or no, me. No, no. If what did I'm you going do? What did you do? Yeah, yeah. What did you do? If I'm going back and forth dating. No, absolutely. So you made the guy wait three months. You weren't seeing anyone else. Yeah. Cap. Stop the cap. Cap. Stop. Stop. Why was I going to wait three months? <laughs> I was. I was talking months. to other people. Okay. And what about you? That month that you made your guy wait. <laughs> no, I'm a little Delulu. So if we talking, you already. Know <laughs> she <my> said Delulu. <laughs> 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 we go together. <laughs> what I've come to realize is if a girl makes you wait like more than a couple of weeks, nine out of ten times she's talking to someone else and yeah. or potentially <laughs> hooking up with someone else. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and she's weighing up the options. And she wants to see if yeah. you're gonna beat him. 
in most yeah. aspects. To I know some chance. of you guys here are kind of be, trying of to be nice about it, but I, I guarantee some of you girls here that are saying you made a guy wait two, three, six months, whatever. <laughs> you were talking to other men in between. Facts. He wasn't the only guy. I was. Yeah. Like, I said and the only was. reason why I was made him wait three men. months was because I wanted to get to know him better. <laughs> and I wanted him yeah, to yeah, know him better. But while you were getting to learn him better, you were talking to other guys. No, I wasn't talking to other guys. You but maybe I was not. Hell no, I was not. But don't you get to know him better? Don't you get to know him better by smashing though? But That's maybe the ultimate I don't. Yeah, no, 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 honestly, I'm talking to okay. him. One at a time. Because we see future, okay. and I was like, we we plan it on dating. So for you to date someone, you need to know that person. Oh, you don't if have now, to know them. I would have let him smash on the first night. Right, but then you just like, the guy that's gonna be worth something has to wait. The mm -hmm. guy's gonna be a fun night. This is the same night. This is a fucking backwards. important. That's crazy. Bro. That's but but backwards. fresh, fresh. That's a fucking super important red pill point, isn't it? The guys need to fucking pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Because it's what she's saying, says. what she's saying is basically the player who she's just gonna, you know, she's just gonna have a bit if of fun with. She'll, she'll smash on the first night. If you're presenting as the serious boyfriend, you're gonna have to wait fucking three months to get, a, you know, because blowjob on the plane. Because she doesn't care if the player or whoever no, is around or not around. Whenever we're ready, like... Okay, but there's a period, of, a period of time. If he happens, a period of he time. Happens. I once made a girl wait 120 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn, that's vicious. You you ask ask if it's a one night thing, I don't see why I gotta make the guy wait. If well, it's just about says, yeah, it's a one care. night stand. That's then kind that, of what it can do. Who cares? Like, listen, uh, guys, 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 are, guys are more interested. Out of curiosity, <laughs> how long did you make the guy that you're currently with wait? I met him six months ago. How long did it, did he have to wait until he hooked up with you? Six so, months. Huh? No, it's two days. days. Oh, it's two days. Two days. days. Yeah. Okay. I say we hand the whole week. I got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile. We are I got kidnapped. We are, yes. We, okay. He kidnapped me. He asked me he could have kidnapped me for two days. And okay. I am uh, okay, yeah, all... Right. 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 It's real important. Right. Here we go. Uh, let me go back to the chats. And uh, we're going 20 and up here, right, uh, Chris? Uh, these came in from these before. These came in from before. And then okay. Course, yeah. And then are we going to go to 50? Yes. All right. From this point forward, guys, we're going to go 50 and up because we want to make sure that we keep pushing the show along. Yeah. Uh, Okay, where are we at here? Uh, Cam two times goes, if she uses her looks and beauty to pay her bills, she's not the type of girl that has much skill, and you best believe she's getting passed around like a basketball drill. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh, Sizzo goes, question for, um, for FNF and ladies. Do you think the legal age of purchasing alcohol should be raised to 30 instead of 21 since women's frontal cortex fully develops on an average age of 24 and you can finally rent your first vehicle 25? Love the show. Keep doing uh, doing W. Uh, that might be I'm a little bit I'm not smart enough to answer that. Uh, a lot of vagina. Okay, a lot of vagina. <laughs> He goes, hey, Myra Fresh, I asked this question on Monday's show, but we never came back to it. Question of ladies, which one do you think a man would choose? A single mom or a woman with OnlyFans? Myra Fresh, which one is worse? Okay. Uh, okay. Wow. All right, what do you guys... Uh, I'm just going to make it very simple. Raise your hands. Which one do you think a man would choose? Uh, a woman, a single mom or a woman with OnlyFans? So what do you think is a better option for the guy? Either a single mom with or children OnlyFans. or a chick that has an OnlyFans. So raise a hands if you guys think the girl with the OnlyFans is a better choice. I don't even know. Uh, only two of you. Okay. Yeah. How many of you that think the single no, mom is actually, a better choice? No, no, I'm back to OnlyFans. <laughs> You're back. Okay. Is this for marriage? One more time. For, for a serious around. relationship. One more time. Serious relationship. So ladies, I'm going to make this very simple. <laughs> what is better, a girl that has an OnlyFans or a single mom for a man to take seriously in a relationship? So I'm going to go one more time. Raise of hands for OnlyFans. <laughs> okay, so that is three girls. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay, yeah, and the other girls. seven, I think of you, right? Because we got seven girls here. Yeah. Okay, the other seven think it's better for the single mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So now we got the. And then Myron and Fresh, what do you think is best? Uh, the answer is no. Neither. Neither. The Forget answer that. is no. Donovan Neither. and Troy, you answer that question. <laughs> What's um, better? I mean, I'm gonna have to go with neither, to be honest. For a serious yeah. relationship, I don't want to. Be in a serious relationship with somebody who's who's, who's already got a kid. No mm -hmm. offense, it's just you know that's not that's not what I'm about. Mm -hmm. And if she's got an OnlyFans, <laughs> I also don't want to be in a serious relationship with her. I'd probably date her. I mean, whatever, who cares, right? But I, I it probably wouldn't be somebody I would consider to for something longer term. Mm -hmm. So that would be my answer. Well, can you even have in a this real relationship? In this question, oh no, he's gonna make me now, isn't he? In this question, <laughs> it's one, it's one other. other. Right, it's you guys did it to us. Mm -hmm. uh, so who would I have a serious relationship with? I oh fucking hell, man, I don't know. I, do you know, I'm gonna go OnlyFans. The reason is. Because 
I think when you're taking on a, someone else's child, you're taking mm-hmm. on a child, that's a fucking big deal, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The OnlyFans mm-hmm. thing, look, everybody's got fucking OnlyFans these days. We're not going to have a choice soon. Yeah. You know what I mean? If we stay in the West. So, you can get rid you know, of the OnlyFans. You can't get rid of a kid. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can't get rid of OnlyFans, exactly. sweetie. Exactly. 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 The internet is forever. Oh, no, it's forever, but what you know. Say again? What would you choose? Oh, neither. You got yeah, one. No, I'm not. Look, check this out. Because if a man, <laughs> check this out. If a man has, a, if a man has, if, if a man's only two options were an OnlyFans model and a single and a single mom, that means his value is not high enough. Uh, Smart man. Okay, uh, we'll move forward from that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, where are we at here? Um, okay, uh, ladies, what do you think if age for sex work is raised to 21? Huh? Huh? Uh, Pro. Do you guys know what sex work, work is? Okay, okay. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and guys, no offense, but some of the questions I've uh, we've got some questions. <laughs> They're a little more so cerebral. Questions that are not um, the, the, the people don't like. So if it's not a good question for the panel, we'll just move on. But we'll acknowledge you and thank you so much for the support. Uh, but we got to keep the show pushing, right? Yeah. Spiral bomber. Um, okay, so we got here. Um, Spiral bomber says, "Didn't Jana get Frank Castle before? Did she? Yeah, her." <laughs> yeah, not me. I didn't get kicked she out. She got kicked off. Yeah, she did. Before. No, she did. It was For what? It was over. The show was over. Off? I uh, I think so, right? The show was over. It wasn't like that. Gentlemen, you guys have reached a very important point. You guys are forgetting girls that you have Frank Castled. Yeah. It's yeah, getting to that point. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Chris, why'd you, why'd you, why'd you, why'd you I'm like oh, I'm okay, I'm pretty sure you did, but it's. Well, Tell yeah, them those uh, other You're Gianna. cool for now, but. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. Um, uh, it wasn't my yeah, swing. Chris, that's an L, man. All right. Good to see the chick that asked Myron if he was Arabic. Anyways, ladies, would you drop that neck? Where the fuck? Uh, to neck, pay IRS. To pay IRS. Also, fresh, what you call a black priest. Holy shit. If divorce was illegal, would you still want to get married? Myron and Fresh, I've noticed when you highlight previous questions, y'all never go back to them. Last show, someone asked, is it worse to date a single mom or a girl? No, we, 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 d- we, did, we now. did. You guys got to keep in mind, man, that like uh, we have to obviously keep the show at a certain cadence. And then when there's questions that might not necessarily align with the topic, sometimes we have to skip it or we don't have time to go back to it. It, you know, it's very difficult to run a live show yes. like this, you know, uh, fielding questions while keeping y'all entertained and educated. Uh, so what was it? It was Basically the question was, shout out to Donovan. Okay. I remember watching the seven back in 2020. Look, look forward to it on Sunday nights. They follow Fresh and Fit, CJA, and a few others ever since. Shout out yeah. to you, bro. Yeah, those uh, panels were legendary, man. What, what, was the, uh, what was the question from the last one before? It was, did he have something else? Or no, it was IRS, right? He's asked, would yeah. girls get fucked for IRS? <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. Well, they dropped that in there. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Um, oh, if divorce was illegal, would women still get married? Hell this no. Is, that's a simple one. How many of you would still get married if divorce is legal? That means you can't leave the guy. No. You would still get... Okay. All right, one. If I love my man, I love my man. Oh, okay. The rest of y'all know? Wait. Okay. There you go. There's your answer, guys. That's why you don't get married, bro. Uh, there's your fucking answer. Abort mission. Yeah. Uh, Joe Pro. Body count matters to men, and here's why. The chains of habit are too weak to notice until they're too strong to break. Ah, Ty okay. Lopez. Okay. Well said. Uh, by a raise of hands, who has cheated before? If no one raises hand, let me get a uh, stop the cap. All right. How many of you have cheated before? Raise of hands. I meant the ladies. You got 745 cc's. Uh, you know you don't cheat. Raise right, a hand. Hold on, hold on. Just so I can get a visual. Uh, we got oh, here. ladies, my bad. Only four girls have cheated on the panel? Stop the cat! Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? You know what? How about this? How about this? Let me let me go ahead. Cause it, you, I'm assuming when we say cheat, they're thinking just sexually, like I hooked up or kissed a guy. Oh. Have you ever sexualized yourself on the internet and or to other men while you were in a relationship with a guy? Ooh. How about that? Ooh. All of them. How about that? Y'all cheated. Okay. Oh. That means having. That means. That means. That means like women. putting sexy pictures of yourself on the internet. That means uh, going to the club. Capping, that means yeah. going out with uh, guy friends. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> okay, so sexy pictures. Many, so yeah. one more time. So raise of hands if you've done that before in a relationship. So what, okay. y'all deleted your Instagram when you had a guy? Like, no, 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 what? You're Just because how we look, y'all think that we act a certain way or that you think that we capping. Like, I'm not capping like I'm not like that. Well, what you have to understand. Look, look, look. So this is a this is not respect them. That's cool. That's fine. It's already three months. The question actually was: Have you ever sexualized yourself while in a relationship with a guy? And I said no, and he said all cap. Okay, well, let me explain. You can't always judge a book by its cover, but you can most of the time. 
Ah, I see what you it's, did there. It's easy for a girl yeah. but to he be also celibate. Said, like, can y'all thank you? It's easy yeah. for a girl to be celibate <laughs> compared to guys. Animal, bro. Yeah, because he was also animal. saying, like, have you ever gone out with a guy friend and or said, posted no. a sexy picture? No, like, things I, like that. No, like, no. I don't that have That means that uh, if you're working in the cloud, you do all your fans, you're cheating. No, I mean, not with, only with all due respect, fans. you're sexualizing yourself right now. Yeah, your boobs are out. You're on a you know public That's podcast cheap. with twenty, thirty thousand people yeah, watching. So technically, right, right now. now you'd be in violation of what I just asked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, this is what I mean when I say women a lot of the times can't connect how men perceive cheating versus mm -hmm. how women perceive cheating. Mm -hmm. If you sexualize yourself while you're in a relationship with a man. That is cheating to a lot of guys. Yeah. No, what if her yeah. man lets her though? And, yeah. Yeah. and that's not a Down relationship. Down in the lobby, and he yeah. like, what? Thank that's you. not a relationship. Why does an elephant no. matter? The line. How? But that wasn't a question. So the question, that, the question was, have you ever sexualized yourself while in a relationship with a guy? Who asked why does the outfit matter? Me? Exactly. That was you. Yeah. If your man lets oh. you leave the house like that, <laughs> he don't love you. The outfit yeah, doesn't there you matter. Go. There it is. No, no, no. She got it. If your man lets you leave the house dressed like her or her. He's not in you. He didn't love you. He don't you. love you. Thank you. Love you. Look, you look, listen, do respect. You look great, but I would never let my woman leave the house looking like that unless she were with me. Well, right. Exactly. Unless she were with you. Okay. You. And I, I got agree. you. I got you. I got you. But then that. you look at women Absolutely. like that are dressed. Hold you know? on. Wait. Did you say look at woman? Women. Okay. One, wim one woman to. One man. Women. Use the word women, please. Women. Go ahead. Women, women dress. Okay. Yeah. I I was saying um whenever you go out, mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. let's say you're looking at other women. Are you looking at someone that is completely covered or are you looking at someone that looks good? I'm looking at someone who looks good. Exactly. So why is it not I never okay said for it. A woman I never I said I I put it to you this way. My okay. woman can do whatever she wants because I'm not her father, I can't tell her what to do. But if she leaves the house looking like that, I will have her bags packed. And on the front porch. <laughs> the answer is not with you. The question, on, the question is like, why is it that you feel that she is like going out looking for something if she looks good when she goes out, or is it that you don't feel secure with your woman if she is dressed in a certain way? It's because I said so. <laughs> here's the, here's the, it is. Uh, look, what? Yeah, be, no, hold on, hold on, <laughs> ladies, 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 ladies. I really need you to. I really need you to listen here. Mm -hmm. Turn your brains on. Me. I said that she can do whatever it is she wants to do. If she wants to leave, and listen, you look great, but if my woman wants to leave the house look like that, I'm not going to tell her, you can't do X, Y, and Z. I'm not her fucking father. I'm not trying to be. But if she, if she engages in activities that put my relationship at risk, then we are no longer in a relationship. But that, dressing a certain way is not an activity. It's respect. But it's, it's now a we're, perception now, of everything. Now, now, we're, now, 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 now we're splitting hairs. If your woman leaves the house looking like this without you, then she's she's clearly looking for some sort of attention. Some sort of attention. No. That's all there okay. is to it. Listen, you guys, well, okay, that's, you know what? That's an what if, what, you're, all, you're right. What if she just dressed like this just to be innocent to go out and you know sell little candy bars? Fine, the relationship's still over. <laughs> I don't care. Like... That's all there is to it. Look, okay. I'm never ever going to control my woman i can only i can only control what i do you can't control women but you can influence their behavior by what you do that's not controlling that's not giving a woman ultimatum that's giving her choices you can either you can either refrain from activities that put our relationship at risk or you can be in a relationship with me but you ain't doing both mm. right but if your woman part. respects you she's gonna make the right choice right I think right. that your woman, as your woman, yep. she shall know what is okay with you and what exactly. is not okay with you. Right. Women know. They know. I know it's okay with my man. They know. Oh, Say yeah. again? I know it's okay with my man. No, you've it's been not. You've been with him for how long? Your man likes I asked him if he look. wanted me to wear this outfit or another one, and he chose this one. Congratulations. <laughs> he picked so, your outfit. Because because he thought no, I mean, look, if he's okay with that, I mean, that's all good. If he were a coaching client of mine, I'd be like, well, look, man, that's not something I would tolerate, but hey, do you. It is what it is. <laughs> you should know what your man likes, what he's okay with, and what he's not. And mm -hmm. if you do it, you do respect him. <laughs> Women know the behaviors that put their relationship at risk. Absolutely. Like, I'm not going to sit here, well, just because I'm wearing a bikini and heels out on Sunset Boulevard doesn't... Bitch, please. <laughs> Come on. Okay. No. It is what it is. All right. Uh, okay, so where are we at here? Um, 15 up, right? No. Yeah. Um, oh, not yet. Okay, Marco. Oh no, no, it's fifty. Oh, but yeah. Okay, uh, Myron, would you rather yeah, marry uh, and be loyal to one of these girls no. or marry fresh? No, no bro. Clarification for the first question: While in a long-term relationship, how long have you gone without giving your boyfriend sex? Ladies, do you um, think if a woman is not giving it up to her man, 
then it's okay for him to seek other options. Okay, so it's while in a long-term relationship. Okay, how long have you gone without giving your man, your boyfriend sex? All right, we can start here with this nurse and then work our way around. Most long as you went in a relationship with a guy? Hey. And the longest I've been in a relationship? No, 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 no. the longest you went without giving your man sex in a relationship. Hmm. Maybe you guys were fighting, I don't know. Yeah, right. Or maybe you just weren't feeling it, I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm... As, she's thinking, which time? Exactly. Oh, what right. hour? <laughs> Did you say power? What hour? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, maybe two days. I don't know. Two days? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember why? Fight or just not time? Because I took too long at the Panera line. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, took too long, I took too long at the Panera line. Panera and he, bread? Yeah. <laughs> and he got into a fight with me over it. Oh, okay. Oh. But then we made up, so it was quick. He thought you were cheating. Yeah, he thought I was cheating while I was waiting at the Panera <laughs> and getting him okay. his lunch. Hey, those pa yo, those okay. Panera dudes do have game now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. What about you? What's the longest you went crumbs? without giving your guy sex? Um, um honestly, at sex is something that we don't take away in a relationship <clears throat> so, so that's off limits like Based. we gotta talk about this shit we're not going to bed fight. we can be mad but I'm gonna still get some dick Fact. <laughs> respectfully Fact. she a real one man what's the longest what's you've gone I didn't the, no. my last relationship was five years and I didn't I Never. didn't hold back I didn't hold no okay what about you what's the longest you went I'm on the same page with her like if my man wants it I'm giving it up it's a we want it type of thing. What Even if, if you're mad? What if you're tired from work, though? Yeah, what if you're yeah. tired? If I'm like, tired, got a headache. Yeah. That's too you're bad. I, I have a I to take an hour. hour that's my long term relationship. Both talk to a sore. That's bae. Hey, man. That's long term. And if I'm tired, I will lay on my side, get it in. <laughs> like, what are we doing? It's a mutual thing. <laughs> hey, it's a mutual thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it's a uh, bad man will stop at red lights. Okay. Well, no, but there's. But you remember, this was the. This was the side of the this was the side of the table that said, "Hey, look! I mean, if he's going cheap, you know, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn to deal with that stuff." But what these two understand is that the only reason why we're in relationship with relationships with women, well, the number one reason is because we get sex. So when women withhold sex from their men, that's the equivalent of a man saying, "Yeah, you know what? I don't feel like paying the mortgage this month." <laughs> if that ever happened, girls would lose their fucking minds. But then they want to know why we feel some type of way when they close their legs at night. Uh, nope. Okay, so you said never, never. What about you? As long as you've made your boyfriend go without banging. I don't withhold sex either. I want it just as bad. So um, the Even longest. Even if you guys fought, come on, man. No, no, I swear. That angry that's, sex, though, that's right? That's what <laughs> makes it up. That's that makeup <laughs> sex that makes it great. Right, what, about, yeah. what about you? What's the longest you've went uh, with withholding from your boyfriend? When I got my period, but I was still giving her. Okay, <laughs> a week. Yeah, yeah I mean, hey, ladies, way, for some, I was still for, my main for you three, you guys were like time. saying like never, never, never. But I mean, obviously, work comes up, or maybe you guys just didn't have time. That's what I mean. It doesn't have to just be a fight. It could be like just you didn't see him for a few days. Be no, like, like my my man travels for Martin work, and like I'll traps. still have phone sex with him, like while he's gone. Oh damn! <laughs> I'm talking about actual real, real. sex, not phone. Okay. Sex. Yeah. <laughs> she says my man's gonna get it anywhere he is. What's the longest now that it's like we know what it is? What's the longest? Um, may I mean maybe 24 hours? Huh? What is phone like, sex? What? Phone sex, like yeah, FaceTime sex, like what is that? You like FaceTime sex? Oh, oh, like you say you talk. Again. Hey, baby. All this hey. What about you? What's the longest you've been? You gon' you gon' give it to him. Yes, I gon' give it to him. Any matter. Grab a towel. All right, one or two days. All right. She says this nigga's getting this pussy whether he likes it or not. What about you? Never. I mean, never like. I mean, it's got to be like a day or two. Except when I was like pregnant, but like. End of pregnancy. But you have kids? Yeah. How many? Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, says. All right, what about you? Two days after I got off the hospital when I have my first baby. Shut up, bitch. Right. <laughs> what about, what about you? Ain't all. That's not funny. What the fuck? <laughs> what about you? That's why more, more, more women aren't on podcast. No. Like, they don't run podcasts. And that's fine. What about you? Um, I would say, like, because of, like, maybe travel or something. And how long was that? Um, two weeks. Two weeks. All right. <clears throat> All right. What about she don't you? let travel get in the way. She flies out to him. Never. <laughs> right. Do you? <laughs> Never. Okay. What's the longest you? 
a few days like when we don't see each other or like when I'm on period. <laughs> okay. That, that yeah. sounds more realistic. Yeah. All right. Is it ever appropriate to withhold sex from your guy? Follow up question. No. Yes? No? No. No. That's how you lose them. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> um, it, yeah. Okay. If, there, if there's something going on, yeah. It's like what? Um, what constitutes... Uh, wait, is the question is for, for the guy to withhold? No, or? You, from the woman. You. Let's be honest, it's typically the female. Yeah, we're not withholding <laughs> sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we fuck even when we yeah. don't want to. <laughs> that's true, yeah. that's true, that's true. Um, what if you're busy? Wait, I'm sorry. Is it ever appropriate time? for a girl to withhold sex from her man, in your opinion? Um... Yeah, I mean, okay. women when? women have feminine issues and stuff like that. Things come up or, you know, period, whatever it may period be. I exception. think that that is justifiable. Okay, outside okay. of periods or, I guess, maybe a feminine situation. Life. From, yeah, but like in general, <laughs> is it outside of, you know, normal body functions? <laughs> <laughs> That's very delicate. Uh... I don't. I don't even know. You want to say know. yes, don't you? You want to say yeah, yes because you want to. I do kind of want to say yes, but, but I'm also like, like, like. Well, just say, just say yes. <laughs> when it feels like it, you can get yeah, it. Nigga. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> yes. Her answer yeah. says it. All right. So it's yes. okay to. Okay. What about you? You think it's appropriate to withhold sex from your man? No, unless you just found out you're cheating, then you want to see the my chart. So the answer is actually yes. <laughs> so the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I think it's okay. Okay. Under what circumstance? If when you're not in the mood, okay. Not in the mood. Like I don't have to give it to him. Well, guess what? Nope, we don't yeah, have to pay the bills either. <laughs> Donovan, I'm not in the mood to pay bills. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, cool. I'm not in the mood to pay your car insurance this month. I want to say something because they took the okay, period too serious. Period. Right. Me really saying sucks. that me being on my period is not an excuse for me to not please my man. <laughs> I'm me, with it. I said because I can be on my period. It, I don't. I don't gotta fuck him to please him. I can mm -hmm. get hang hair or play with myself. Some do it. I don't get Hold it. On. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so the question do you think it's ever appropriate to withhold sex from your guy? <laughs> yes or no? no. <laughs> Say no. Yes or no? No. What was the question? Is it ever, <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> Is it ever appropriate for you to withhold sex from your guy? Yes or no? No. Okay. Oh okay, cool. <laughs> what about you? you? Um, no. Okay. Why not? Because he's gonna go get us somewhere else. Facts. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? <laughs> no. Why he's not? Gonna leave. Same reason. If you don't give it to him, he's gonna find somebody who will. Okay. What about you? Same. <laughs> you, you you said the same? Yeah. It, okay. No, it was, don't withhold six. Okay. What about you? Yes, I'm withholding. Okay. Well, uh, under what circumstances? Right. If you being a little bit too disrespectful, you ain't getting nothing tonight, homie. Mm. She, oh, she describe disrespect. You. Oh. If you got like, a if little... I come home and I was like, "Bitch, where's my dinner? Am I getting any pussy?" <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bit too slick out the mouth. Yes. Okay. So well, you're gonna I'm watch me do bitch. something else, but I ain't gonna give you nothing. All right. That's cool. No, no, that's cool. <laughs> Your bags are packed. I'll have an Uber here in 15 minutes. Appreciate right. you. What yeah. if I? Yeah. And here's I, I want to give my take, and I'll give you guys here a chance to respond. I. Genuinely believe that if a woman doesn't give you sexual access, she's useless. Yep. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why is because men really don't deal with women for anything else except mm -hmm. for sexuality. Maybe we care about your personality a little bit, talk to you, but the sexuality and your looks come first. And if you can't provide that, you're effectively useless. Are you in a relationship? Back. Are you single? Uh, that's why. Are you single? Yeah. 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 Why does that matter? No, no, no. It's just a question. Because I know why you're asking that question because I know women better than they know themselves. But what I'm asking is. It, uh, what's your take on that? Agree, disagree? Um, disagree. Facts. Why do you? Okay, you disagree. Who else disagrees with that statement? <laughs> that a woman's useless if she doesn't give sexual access. No, okay. no. Sexual access okay. to her boyfriend or husband. You said look, she's useless. If I give my man everything else, she desires. You said beauty, looks, you don't care about But that's one. Right, let me say this one more time because some of you guys didn't hear. I said if a woman doesn't give her man sexual access, she's effectively useless. And how many of you agree or disagree with that? How many of you disagree? I disagree. Raise your hands with disagree. Okay, why do you disagree? Because I don't want to be looked at as just a sexual object. I'm smart. I'm educated. Okay. I well, can maintain myself. Okay. So I want to be looked at for my other qualities. And then okay. secondary, now, she's let me great ask you this. Let me ask you this. You know, I wish women would like look at my qualities. I'm a good video game player, but women don't tend to care about that. Right, but maybe when women will look like, oh, well, he's a good provider. He brings something to the table. <laughs> yeah, provider are, is right. the fucking yeah. 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 I think that's the main thing. Is like, there it like is. do you think men value education and provisioning like women do? No. 
I think they should. We but don't. Oh, we should. They don't we, give a I think fuck. they should. No, I think no, no, they hold should. On, hold on. We don't operate on should, could, and would. Mm -hmm. Do, do I they? Think they? Yes should. or no? No, but no do they. they don't, but I think they should. Why? Okay, so <laughs> since they don't, wouldn't it be in your best interest to you know, operate in what men actually like? Yes. yes. If you're trying to keep yes. them, sis. Okay. Yes. All right, well, single. so you disagree because you think you should be valued on your education, whatever, but you know men don't typically value that. Okay, mm -hmm. why do you disagree? We don't care. They I really disagree because there's well, a lot uh, more to um, a partner of course. than just hooking up. Of course. But what is the predominant reason that men deal with women? For sex. Um, oh. You I'm get not going to generalize all mean? men because I have a good oh, one and no. he's a lover boy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyword, you said care. lover boy. Yeah. What is making love? <laughs> Sex. Yes. Sex. Sex. Well, no, he, you know, he likes, like, if I, you know, cook, cariño, like, he's not all, like, that's not the only thing he cares about. Yeah, but what is the predominant reason that men deal with women? It's not only Really? Guess. How about this? <laughs> yeah. How about you stop giving your guy sex for three months and exactly. see if he sticks around? Exactly. There you think go. he'll stick around? <laughs> nope. <laughs> No, he won't. He I won't. honestly believe he will. No, yes, he won't. He's what? Like, he won't. He's like, like, I don't know why all of y'all think <laughs> that your man, or like, I need to give it if not, you know, like, he'll hook up other right. girls. Like, <laughs> I, like, and you guys no. said that they cheat anyway, so if you don't want to give it to I him that night. That. No, I, don't, I forget. Oh, yeah, no, they do. They well, okay. you, you can accelerate the process of cheating. I know the woman I am, and if he knows that, then he'll respect me. Stand on it. Let's do a test. Okay. Don't give a sex for three months. See what happens. So wait, wait, wait. Just in the beginning. Okay. Hold on. Are there, there are three months? <laughs> yeah, he's no, definitely no, gonna leave. No, yeah. no, no. Stand on it. Okay. No sex I will. For, for three months. <laughs> All right, and then I'll come back Show on the podcast in three months, and I'm gonna be like. Fresh, her, boy here. Oh fresh her boyfriend's yeah. watching this now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun, 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 why she said you got to fold these bitches. <laughs> so you don't even know what you're disagreeing with. I, I do disagree, though. Okay, what are you disagreeing with? Incredible. Because I'm sorry. Well, it's been so many thoughts right now. And like, I'm not going to lie. Like, Let me sum it up for you. Let me sum it up for whatever. you. Look, looks and sex are, are important he to us. Hold on. It's not that your personality traits are not important to us, but you could be the kindest, most feminine, submissive woman who can cook and clean and believes in traditional values. But if you're 400 pounds with two chins and like a mustache, <laughs> I'm not going to find out. Right. <laughs> so what you guys have to understand is that, yes, listen, men, we objectify you. It's Myron says it all the time. We look at you guys as sex objects. Women look at us as success objects. And that's OK. Mm -hmm. Men, we are predominantly uh, 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 motivated by sex. That's why we pursue women, because if I'm living with a woman and she's doing everything for me except for having sex, we're just roommates and yeah. I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to pay my roommates bills mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. i gotta get the sex and if i decide not to pay the bills that month then my woman's got a right to be like yo what the fuck what? as a man are you okay with being sexualized Yes, yeah, but, mm -hmm. but men are sexualized. Men are also. Oh, uh, yes, I men am. are also. <laughs> I'm yeah, am I okay with being sexualized? You're damn right I am. <laughs> which are better, um, so. Right, so. Men, are, men are also objectified, though. Okay. Yeah. If they're not objectified in quite the same way, but they're still objectified. Yeah, right, yeah. Who okay. else disagreed with me saying that women are useless if they don't give you sexual access? Who else oh, disagreed? I never disagreed with that. She you, you raised your hand when I, I said who disagrees. Are you I drunk? She no, said I'm not drunk. No, 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 I'm drunk. Yeah. No, I'm not. But I did not disagree. If I said I would give my dude sex. I never disagreed. No, 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 no. I said if a woman doesn't give her man sexual access, she's, she's useless. And then I said, who disagrees with that? And you raised your hand. Oh. She didn't know what the question was, Myron. Let's move right, on. And then you just why'd you disagree? Go ahead. I disagree because um, sure. there is times where your woman is your partner, and that can be in business. That could be uh, someone Agreed. that motivates you. That could be someone that Agreed. contributes creative I don't need uh, ideas. Okay, you don't need motivation. Okay, so you said a couple things: business, and then what else? Motivation. Uh, motivation, ideas, getting creative, you know, like sometimes, in sometimes your partner is, you sure, in bed, whatever. Well, look, this um, is a, this is a fallacy that women love to run around. Women don't build, they move in. Um, girls want a guy that's pre-assembled. They typically don't, don't want to build. I don't mind. Okay. That's fantastic for you. But most <sighs> women don't want to do that. Most women want a guy to be pre-assembled and come 
uh, prepackaged. Another thing too is that if a man needs his girl for motivation, he already failed. Oh my god! No, no, not need, not need. But sometimes that's your partner. Sometimes you work together. So if he doesn't need you, then you're expendable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so he did. Yeah. Okay, but then you could say the same thing about a woman that doesn't need a man. Right? Uh, period. Uh, well, here's the thing. Um, women's yeah. happiness is very contingent upon being in relationship with a man. A man's happiness is not contingent upon that. No, sir. Women get p pleasure from being in a relationship with a man, typically. Women value relationships a lot. You know, every girl's dream, right? There's a reason why every girl wants to walk down an white aisle dress. in a white dress yeah. or have children or play house, right? When you look at little girls, when they play games, what they do, those games are typically social. They're playing with Barbies, playing house, the Men domestication. Don't do that. No. We don't play house. <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have action figures. They don't imagine themselves as yeah, but superheroes. It but, but, like, but it doesn't do entail that. a female. Do you understand? Like when men, when boys are growing up, they play with other boys, and it's about competition. Robots. It's competition and hierarchy. Yeah. Like men strive for status and income and being the best, and then a woman is a byproduct of that. Women, on the other hand, are trying to get the best guy. We're not the same. So a man derives pleasure from success and changing the world. A woman derives pleasure from being with a man that changes the world. But wouldn't it depend on the caliber of the man? Because right now we're not all dealing with a man with that's you know that has that's money, status. that high status, and all the stuff. So I understand like you that. But if a woman has the beauty and the ability to do so, she will get the best man that she can get. Right. Absolutely, I agree. So but I'm just but saying. But that's what I'm trying to say is that men and women look for different things in opposite gender. Absolutely. So you're saying, oh, I don't need a man. Actually, you really do. You, it's just absolutely. that it's, when you're young, you can say stupid shit like that because there's a bunch of guys coming up to you. But as you get older and you age, you realize, damn. A career in money doesn't really give me the same satisfaction yeah. as I thought well, it would. Companionship goes a long way. Yes, it does. Okay. And, and no one wants to be alone. Like, let's be real. I know. Nobody but I wants said to be partner. alone. I said partner, right? Yeah, but I'm I not mean, in a partnership. Said, I'm in a relationship. Yeah, I agree to that part because I used to be one of those females that used to say, I don't need a man. I do everything by my own. But now I see why I do need a man. I don't need like, a man. <laughs> that's not what I said. I didn't you say that I don't need yeah. a man. I think what but, women okay. need to understand <laughs> is that women, like, women need men whether you realize it, know it, like it, or not. Everyone needs everyone. No. No, that's not true. <laughs> women, like, listen, man, for for procreation, yes, men need women and women need men. But as far as the way the world works, if me, if somebody were to snap their fingers and all women would and all men would disappear, the world would go to shit in about ten minutes. If they did the same and women would disappear, the world would go to shit, but it would take a little bit longer. You understand what I'm saying? That just goes to show that men and women we value different things. You disagree? We object. We object. Why, why do you disagree with that? Because she's a disagree, feminist and that's what I'll, she has to do. I'll, I'll no, no, no. Why, why do you specifically disagree with that? Um, <laughs> because I feel like uh, with men, it's like, you, right, you're always trying to be the best. You always want to be better. Um, I believe that it would turn uh, into a war a little bit quicker than um, women. Like, I feel like women would, like, you know, oh, come try to, on. Try to, you know, we get a bunch of women working ridiculous. together. You, you know, when you get a bunch of women working together, it's a fucking cat fight. It's a fucking bitch fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right behind with the those scenes. Well, not only not <laughs> those kinds they're of all, women. They're all those hold kind on, of hold women. On. The other thing, too, you got to understand is that men control like 95% plus of infrastructure type jobs. So, like electricity, sewage, all well, the things that you yes. come to learn and love in the modern world. Like, those things would go like that if men were disappeared. But if women Ten disappeared, minutes. we want to be able to continue a society. That's true, but things would still work. We, yeah, we'd go extinct, you, you know, because there's no be women. Born. And you're forgetting emotions. Let's say you were the leader of a country and you got mad at the president from another country. You may bomb them. Because you feel like it. <laughs> Listen, you, you laugh and chuckle. Like Look, you laugh and chuckle and roll your eyes, but women are never chemically identical from one day to the next. And you guys know it. Yeah. This, yeah. Listen, man. Look, look, look. We love you ladies, man. We love you. But this is why men lead and women follow. Because men, if we're not doing drugs, we are chemically the same every single time. Yes, there are certain situations in our lives where our emotions fluctuate. But a woman's emotions fluctuate like this, typically. Mm -hmm. A man's emotions fluctuate like this. You don't want the leader of the free world to be here you want the leader of the free world to be like that that's why men lead and women follow Facts. it doesn't make men better than women or women better than men we have our roles and that's the way they are the creator created us to lead and follow and here's another thing too the reason why i say women are useless outside of uh, sex is because women don't offer much utility to men outside of sex women only respect and give the best to men that they're sexually involved with 
So that's why I always say a woman can't really right. serve two masters. It's either her man or her job. Which one are you going to submit to? If she submits to her man, she's typically going to be happier and she's going to give that guy the best, but she's also giving that man sexual access. This mm-hmm. is why guys that are in the friend zone with women don't get good treatment from them. They still end up like having to be a good friend and give her that masculine mm-hmm. energy without getting anything in return. So what I'm saying is that in general, women are fairly useless if they're not giving you sexual access. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, women suck at most endeavors in human pursuit. Agreed. Really? Misogyny. Yeah. Yep. Uh, y- what do you mean? Now I disagree. Okay, what do you disagree with specifically? I disagree because all of you came out of a woman. And? All of you came out of vagina. What's that when I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I said that women suck at most human pursuits, I mean as in things that both genders can like actually physical, do. Like physical? Like physically yes. and education? For example, if you look at men's sports versus women's sports, women's sports suck. No one cares. Men's sports, people actually watch. Okay. Men can't have children, so therefore that's not an even playing Okay, field. what about education? Are there women in the military? What do you mean by education? It's it's okay and I'll no talk about that in, a yeah, in research it, it says that <laughs> men oh, mature later than women. Women mature at eighteen. Well, you said a what little while ago like education doesn't matter for you. What you said education is not like a, a and big thing. And you said that women yeah can't... female competence isn't important, which is why women suck at so many things. Right, so education isn't a factor. I mean, well, men no, don't typically, no sexual men men typically don't care for it uh, when it comes so to the, like picking so a partner. So does that mean that you're that you're slow. So you, so men don't care about being slow. That's what? not what we well, said. I mean, <laughs> that's not what we said. You get a lot of guys. Are you, I do. You do, right? Mm-hmm. No offense, but you're fairly incompetent. No, I'm so, not. Yeah, you are. Uh, no, during the course of this conversation, <laughs> you've had to place. re-ask no, because... questions. You don't necessarily know what's going on. You can't articulate an argument, and it's fine, but you're still I able to get articulate... sexual access and get men. God, Matter of fact, crazy. you said it earlier that I'm around a bunch of guys that have status, but you're not a very competent person, but you're only able to do I that because you're a female, which proves my point. Women don't have to be competent. Okay. We don't have that luxury. actually do. But when oh you're around God. a whole bunch of people that are just saying like random stuff that you're don't... saying random stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying anything random. Like you just said that we you are have not said you one just profound said... thing during the course of this podcast. Okay, you just said that women can't do anything outside of sex. That's I didn't say not that. what he said. That yeah, is not what I said. That. You That's can't even okay, literally so can't even say okay. back what, he said. what I said correctly. <laughs> okay. Bro. You're just talking to talk, no offense. I'm Please pay attention to, to specifically very... what I'm saying. Okay. What I am saying is that in mo- in human endeavor, women suck at most things. Most men things. Men are superior to women in almost so every human endeavor. Can you give me an endeavor. example talking, of those things? Men are physically Don't, superior to women. If you look at most geniuses, they're men. If you look at all modern day creations, they were created by men. The world that you live in that you get to enjoy was created by men, not women. And get this, as far as education is concerned, just because you're educated doesn't mean you're smart. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people out here with two degrees that's dumb as a and, fucking and flat tire. Thank you. Women dominate all the useless I majors. Agree. Thank you. They absolutely dominate the most useless majors and they dominate the most useless professions that don't necessarily benefit society. Uh, you were saying military, right? Yeah. That's women are useless in combat. Yes. <laughs> If we're going to use that argument, I, I would argue I don't think women should be in combat positions in the military at all. I don't even think no. they should be police officers. And the reason why is because be you're only as you're strong, you're only as strong as your weakest link. <clears throat> so if a woman right is weaker and she can't carry a 200 pound so- soldier to safety, well, guess what? Now we need two soldiers to do that. Or when a woman gets injured because men have a natural provider, a protector instinct, he's going to put himself in a compromising situation to protect that girl. That's why for the longest time women weren't allowed in infantry, and I think it should stay that way. I don't think women can handle combat. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that. They're captured. God forbid oh what's going to happen to them. Jesus. And all the girls are bodybuilders. Come on. What does that have are to do with anything? Are you serious? Was your, yeah. What? Hold on. They're, 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 they're driven that because of what you said differently. earlier about the carrying the... Stop the show. Stop the fucking show. I literally articulated to you why women should be shouldn't be in combat. And you're that. And your rebuttal is women can be bodybuilders? What the fuck is going on? Look, I have a quick question. Why? Look, look. Why is it so important for you guys to be doing masculine activities? Why do you want to be... Hold on. Why do you want to be in the military? Why do you want to be a bodybuilder? It just... Why don't you want to do what women have to understand? And this is the greatest lie feminism has told women is that they've told if feminism has told women that femininity is a weakness. That's why mm. everybody wants to be a fucking bodybuilder and join the military and be a boss babe. No, that's not what the world needs. We have enough of that. They're called men. Be a woman for crying out loud. Right. So I, 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 I just want to give her a chance to finish. So, OK, what, you're saying what bodybuilding? Oh, well, you said that women can't do the same as yeah, men. And she was just that saying girls 
can do the same as I don't no, say that they can't. Actually, I'm, I'm I'm saying everything that a man can do, a woman can actually do. They just suck at it more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they, don't do it, they, don't, they don't do it. They don't do it at the same level it that a man does. Drive. So if you and take that. you take female yeah. sports and male sports, female sports suck. No one cares. The WNBA is subsidized by the NBA. Okay. No one really gives a shit about women competing or doing anything because that's not what men care about. Men don't care about your education. They don't care about your money. They don't care about your competence. Clearly, so. I mean, realistically speaking, right. Myron, right? women don't women even care suck about at women's everything sports. because they don't have mm -hmm. to be good at anything. That's the that. truth. Yeah. Women, do, listen, women don't even care about women's sports. You think you think Kim Kardashian is at, at LA Sparks games? No, she's courtside with the Lakers, man. Wait, That's who? Kim Kardashian. Oh, wait, LA Sparks? What? So anyway, you guys see what I'm trying to say now? When I say when I say women are useless uh, in a relationship uh, if they don't provide sexual access, is because. That's main, mainly your main commodity, and people get angry at me for this, but the reality is, the reason why men deal with women is for sexual access. We don't care about your money, your competence, your accomplishments. No one cares for that. And this is why women, because women are actually not incentivized to be competent in nope. social situations. No so, way. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, some of the girls I've dated, even even this fucking year, I mean, you go out with some fucking girls, and they are just, it's just unbelievable. Like, they're fucking dumbasses, and there's kind of <laughs> shit that they do in public, because oh they, but you know, they can get away with it because they're pretty, mm -hmm. and they've been allowed to get away with it and they don't have to you know they don't have to follow any kind of fucking decorum you want to hear anything. something funny troy there was a study done the higher a woman's iq the lower likelihood that she'll get married yeah the higher well, iq for every point every IQ. point it goes up the, really? the, the ability the ability for her to get married goes down the chances but for a man the higher iq the higher yeah. chance of getting married yeah so yeah. i mean i'm not trying to you know i know correlation is a causation but the reality is is that men don't value competence in women that's why a dumb girl can be on a yacht with a millionaire but it's not going to be to operate this other way around and the reason why is because women aren't necessarily incentivized to produce Agreed. yeah we all have our roles to play but yeah honestly speaking guys don't really care about all the other extra activities it's more like the sex yeah. on the table cool awesome. so that is why to, to bring my argument full circle yeah. that is why if a female doesn't give you sexual access she's useless she's right. because it is her main commodity and she can't really provide you anything else as a man and if you stop you might leave three months Any, that, anybody have an argument for that that's the so same I, can save, I can your save your bill. life tomorrow and it doesn't mean anything it doesn't matter if how are you going to save my life for? tomorrow I yeah, can save tell your us life how tomorrow. you know how much I weigh. How, how would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can come into a hospital tomorrow, and I will save your life. It's and actually a doctor job. that's going to do it, not you. <laughs> no, that's what oh, you think. Oh, that's what you God. think. Are you that's one of these? Think. Oh, you're one of those nurses that think you're smarter than doctors. Oh, no, my I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But okay. I'm. Right. I'm an ICU nurse okay. who's gotten a little bit of experience. And I'm with you because that is a very nurture. See, women nurture, men mm -hmm. protect. Agreed. I, I, yeah. I just think that. I, look, man. I just. So think I that work with my physicians, not against them, but no, no, no. I want to be, you know, validated as a woman that's a little bit smart. Think, but you want to be? No, 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 man. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Women, listen, 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 listen. Women don't want to be valued for their intellect. Women don't even want to be loved. You guys want to be fucking desired. Because if you're not desired, nothing else is possible. Mm -hmm. Stop it with all this, I want him to love me. No, you want him to want to fuck you. Because if he doesn't want to fuck you, he'll never love you. Ladies, listen. You can't want both? You No, you can't want both. <laughs> Ladies, you have to understand. That was a crazy you have, you have to understand right The feminine, your both. femininity, please stop interrupting. Your femininity is the most powerful force in the fucking universe. And so many women throw it away trying to act like men. Then when they're 39 years old with fucking three law degrees, they wonder why they don't have a man. Mm -hmm. Just be a woman, man. And, it's, yeah. and in this day and age, it's not that hard. Being a stay-at-home mom is not even hard these days because all of the chores are pretty much done for you. Mm -hmm. Like, like just... Like, just think about it. Think about how much more attractive you'll be if you just act like a lady and do feminine things, dude. Your life will change. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but also, we want to keep oh, this. To, we want to keep the focus on sexual selection, right? And it's 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 laudable to be a nurse. It's fucking fantastic. That's amazing that you're doing that. And women do amazing things. But in the right. context of sexual selection, do guys give a fuck about that? No. I mean, no. I've been out with some fucking incredibly dumb girls. And I've been out with some actually very intelligent women. And the, the, the level of intellect, it hasn't made a great deal of difference in terms of my enjoyment of that relationship, yeah. if that That's makes sense. That's a good sense. question, and that you answered my question. That was my next question. What, if, it's, if it changes If it makes it. a difference for the man. I, I don't think, I, personally for me, I mean, I like to have an in, intelligent conversation as much as anybody, but it doesn't make a massive difference. Mm -hmm. It does it, make it, it, what, what, what makes a difference for me is the vibe and the chemistry. If the, mm -hmm. if the chemistry is there, I don't really give a fuck if she's got a degree or if she's fucking working Walmart. You know what I'm saying? That's not what it's about. I think the only time, I think a woman's uh, education and utility and usefulness, I think it comes 
reason to play when you're when you're in a solid relationship, mm -hmm. right? If a man is looking for a relationship, if he's looking for those things, yes, looks and sex do, they do matter. But you know there are other there are other things that we want and need from you. You just have to understand that it just doesn't always work out the way you want it to. I think like they for, prioritize I, differently. I think for a guy, yeah. if you want a girl to be with you long term, he's gonna want obviously have looks, sex on the table. But of course. it's more like okay. I have a program. Are you going to follow my program? If not, what's the there point? There is. There They're is. Not the leader. So. And here's a sacrifice men have to make. If you want to be in a long term, the shorter term relationship you're looking for, the hotter the girl can be. So if you're looking for a girl that's going to be your ride or die, you guys got to quit looking for eights, nines, and mm -hmm. tens. You need to look in the five, six, seven range. Yeah. And Thank even you. that might be a little high. Thank they don't want to hear that, Donovan. They don't want to no. hear that, man. Wait, are that's you saying five, five or six? No, but I'm saying these guys need a little bit more of realistic expectations. Though. Okay, so besides be looks and says, what else? <laughs> Is a man looking for in a woman? Titties and ass. Titties and ass. Titties and that. And honestly, we can't even get we can't get mad if they say we that can. we're useless because that's what it is that they're looking for. The same way bitches are talking about if you can't provide for me, keep it pushing. So mm -hmm. why is the double standard? Okay. You get mad at so, men. Ooh. If yeah. we are yeah. looking for sex, y'all shouldn't get mad at us because we look at ya as an ATM. If your man, if your man stop paying your bills that. tomorrow, are you staying with him? <laughs> if, we all happy. Hey, if We're your looking. man stop paying your bills tomorrow, are you staying with him? Let That's him not pay your bills for three of months. You're, I stay no, with you're him. not. <laughs> so we all happy. Be fucking for real, sis. Be fucking for real. Yes, yes, if your sis. man stops paying your bills by choice because oh my god, I'm the king of whatever the fuck, you're mm -hmm. you're leaving. Guess what? Because that Be man now is useless. Yeah, because now he's useless to you. The same way, if you're not fucking him, you're useless to him. Ladies, we just have different shit that we're looking for. Men don't want sex. We need sex, okay? And a lot of guys like to talk shit about sex workers, OnlyFans, strippers, peace stars, etc., etc. Listen, man, I would never wife those women up, but those women save lives. And I'm not being facetious here. Those women save lives because, guys, listen, I don't know if you guys know this, and I'm not a big stats guy. What is it like 40%, only 40% of men throughout world history yeah. has ever reproduced. That's true. 60% of men have never reproduced. Ladies, 99% of women have reproduced. What that means is that you guys are making the selection, the the, uh, the the selections based on genetics and all these other kind of things. It's all the same thing across the board, man. Um, real quick, because you mentioned education and you know being smart and that type of thing. I, I think education only matters to men if it benefits them. But the reality is, education and a career typically is an obstacle. Because if I make a lot of money or I'm I'm successful and you have a career as well, well, we're both going to be really busy. You're not going to necessarily have time to you know wait on me and do what I need. You're not going to necessarily fill that assistant role which a lot of guys want their girl to be to be like a companion and help them because you're gonna be more focused on your stuff and men don't want that i don't want to date another me really that's the relationship yes. that i well you know i've had the relationship with devin for a while devin yeah. is my she's my assistant i'm basically we're basically tony stark and pepper Potts. only tony stark is a little bit richer than i am yeah. and i'm black other than that she handles <laughs> she handles everything she handles all of the travel all of the she handles everything behind the camera. That makes her incredibly valuable to me. But I would not have gotten with her if she were not sexually attractive and did not give me sex. Yeah, I, think, I, think you make a, I think, Donovan, you make That's a good fact. point. Because obviously the, the situation, the yeah. setup you've got with Devon is obviously a great example of how a woman's intelligence and her you know, competency and everything else is, is a huge asset in your relationship. Oh, yeah. But I also agree, if you're looking at hookup culture, if you're looking at guys just out there wanting to get laid, uh, or, or even date casually. The intelligence, it doesn't fucking mean anything. Yeah. You know? And, and to yeah. be honest, I mean, for me, the main fucking thing, really, it's not even so much intelligence. It's like, can I fucking, can I chill with her? Is she fucking cool to be around? Is she going to give me a hard time about shit? You know, what, I, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the more we're compatible on that level, the, the better. I don't, her level of intellect, I don't really, I don't really care about that. Uh, okay, uh, let, me, let me put a perspective for the yeah. ladies so they can really understand and grasp how m little men give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> Most men would take a girl that has one or two bodies, dumb, mm -hmm. follows his lead, over a girl that has ten bodies, college educated, and is opinionated. Absolutely. Let, hold on, hold on. I want, that, I want that to let, you, let that sink it's, in. It's absolutely true. Let that sink in. Most guys will take a girl that has one or two bodies, is dumb, but follows his program, over a girl that's 10 bodies, Bingo. educated, and opinionated. Right here. That should tell you right then and there. Men don't give a fuck what you think like that. And there's one comment really Aaron. There's one comment really here. Peace. Yes. Peace. Peace. Yes. Because he comes home, 
No nagging. Oh my god. No arguing. Dude. Agreed. Can you trust Peace. That's it. Oh, another Peace. thing too. You guys want to hear a dirty little secret of why men don't care about your opinions? Because women live life on easy mode. So why the hell do I care what you think? <laughs> live life on easy mode. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Like, gotta be honest. Like yo, like a girl can open up an OnlyFans and make 10k a month, getting sips, giving her Beat money. Beaks. She can literally like women uh, live life on easy mode. If you play chess, right, the queen can move in a million different directions, any amount of spaces she wants. Yep. But if the king dies, the game is over. over. That's right. Yeah. So mm. the reality is, is that since women live an easy life, men don't value your opinion like that, unfortunately. And it, I'm just telling you guys how men really feel. This whole mansplaining thing and all that, it's, it comes from reality. Like, men look at it like, whoa, I have a way harder existence than she does. Why the fuck do I think what she cares? And here's the thing, what she thinks. And here's the other thing as well I want to say real quick. I feel bad for women that are attractive and smart because you're oh, never yeah. going to be taken seriously. Yeah. Yep. You're never going to be taken that? seriously. Why do you say that? All right. Huh? Why do you say that? Because most good-looking girls are sluts, sweetheart. Or stupid. That's why. Or stupid. <laughs> and That's also, why. Let's, say let's just to, keep it what it is. Keep it real. A meeting or you go to like an event where there's like businessmen, to be honest with you, all they see was mm. is sex. Yeah. You can Facts. be smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to prove yourself way harder because you're a woman, but mm. honestly, yeah. first and even still, sex. we still won't take Facts. you that yeah. seriously. That's just mm -hmm. how yeah. it is. So I, for you, titties. I, I tell girls, like, bro, if you're, if you're young and hot, lock a guy down because realistically hey. speaking... Stop like, right use that use that to your advantage. Hey. Yeah. You have the most negotiating power when you're young and attractive. Myron, mm. how many listen, how many women have thrown away their one chance at true happiness by starting an OnlyFans? There dude, there are so yeah. many beautiful <laughs> young women who could be married to a zillionaire. Nope, they want to sell pictures of the butthole for four ninety nine per month. <laughs> Unbelievable. With Ladies. a discount for the first time. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, 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 question. What does doing OnlyFans a working the clothes has to do with a girl like being a good girl no. yeah reputation because you're not gonna, it uh, it your a high, a high, a high value man is not going to yeah. want to wife up a woman who's done those things but yeah. it's always like sorry behind they, like, it's always the, they don't care to hear your fucking yeah. stories this it's okay. a well, not only that a woman is well a woman is a reflection of a man think of nina think of nina agdal logan paul is getting dragged because well now everyone knows that nina we i call her nina ragdoll and logan paul is getting clown because of it because his because his uh because his fiance is a super hoe once you start only fans once you start going on both parties and all that you guys have to understand you're disqualifying yourself immediately from the kind of men you want yeah. just refrain from those activities yeah. man that's I, all i'm saying i think yeah. most women that do only fans are not bad people the problem is it's no. a perception mm -hmm. and the problem is as well is those videos are online forever yeah. so let's say you meet a guy he's actually into you likes you a lot Here's a video of you getting fucked online. It's kind of weird. It's like, what the mm. fuck? Yeah. That's, that's yeah. If, you have, if you have kids and with that person and then your kids are, are going to yeah. see oh that. God, you know yeah. I mean? And at that point, like, you're kind of like, yo, this this chick's a hoe because she's getting mm -hmm. fucked online. Even though you may be a good person, it's like the perception is really bad. Out there. I think that's a really good point. I think that's a really good point for us because it's but, like, I know these are bad people. It's not we're saying any, yeah, any of no. these people are bad. It's fucking yeah. great. I mean, and, and to be honest, you know, if you can make money doing that, I was, I was dealing with a girl yeah. Last the other week, and she was telling me she's she's just got a small Twitter account, and guys just send her money for like pictures and shit. Mm -hmm. If you could make money doing that, I don't blame anyone for doing that. It doesn't mm -hmm. make you a bad person, but it is a problem when you're looking for that long term with the high value dude. Yes, I'm gonna put it to you guys this way: <clears throat> you guys are we're uh, you guys are all attractive women here, at least most of you. You guys have been given <laughs> seriously the attractive women. You have been given a lottery ticket, a lottery ticket. It, there, Chris Rock said this best: there's nothing more powerful than female beauty. He's 100% right. What you have to understand, ladies, is that you get your lottery winnings up front. You don't have to be, you don't have to be a genius, you don't have to be a rocket science to get the highest value man you can. Here's the problem. You can go to school and, and be a boss babe, but think about most of you guys, most of you guys are in your 20s. How much, what percentage of the lottery winnings is left over? Some girls, by the time they get to 21, they might have 90%, maybe they get to 25, they're at 50%. By the time they get to 29, 30 years old, they don't have they don't have as much of that sexual currency. And when they start to notice the the quality of the men hitting on them going down, or what Myron says, they start to buy their drinks. That's when women all of a sudden say, say to themselves, "Well, now I need to go out and find the man I need." Every time you go out and and find a man you want for all the quote unquote wrong reasons, you're you're using up a little bit more of your lottery money. And a lot of mm. women think that they get lottery on the front and the back end. No, baby, no. <laughs> if you're young and hot and you become a P star. Great, that's your winnings up front. 
If you're young and hot and you get married to a millionaire, a billionaire, great. You ca- you cashed out. You have an annuity. So so every woman, your sex is for sale. How much you demand for it is really up to you. Mm-hmm. If 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 to get the pussy, they need they need a you need a ring and and a ceremony and all that. Guess what? Men are going to value you more. But if all they need is like cheap liquor and you know five dollar chicken wings at the strip club, then guess what? Mm-hmm. You're not getting you're not you're not getting what you are. And a lot of women say, well, I know my worth. Well, how old are you? I'm 39. No, 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 no. You don't get your lottery. Yeah, you don't get your lottery winnings twice. Once you win your, you cash that ticket one time, ladies. One time. There's one, maybe two opportunities in your life where you meet a man. And a lot of you have met men that you could probably spend the rest of your life with, but because you didn't see them for who and what they really are, you pass them by. Think about, think about Damn. the men. Mm-hmm. Think about yeah. this. Is true. Think, nice guys. It's true. Yep. think about the men. Think about the men that have come in and out of your life, right? And the older you get, you start to think, man, I wonder what happened to Rodney in medical school. Man, I wonder what happened to Thomas in uh, uh, in law school. A lot, dude, a lot of women who get to their 30s and 40s, they say, well, the reason I'm not married is because I haven't found him yet. I haven't met him yet. No, you met about five of them when you were in your 20s, but you were too stupid to see it because you're going after men that you want instead of men that you need. Mm. How much of your lottery winnings do you have left? But this, well is the, this is the problem in the whole fucking culture, isn't it? Though? Because, because, because we Dr. want, Mark, we Mark, want Mark, and women Mark. in particular, you know, <laughs> want instant gratification. We want the dopamine hits. You know, and this is the whole, you know, the whole cliche about like the young women like the fucking bad boys. They like the adventure. They like the fucking, you know, yeah. the chat, whatever. And then they get to like 29, 30, 31, whatever. And then suddenly it's like, yeah, I'm looking for something different now. I'm not going out as much. I've moved to Guilty the country. Look at her. Look at her. I've moved to the country. I'm not in the city. I'm not going to the club anymore. You I'm know, because I'm, looking, I'm looking I'm for something different now. And, and Rollo Tomasi, um, Godfather of Manosphere, um, calls this the epiphany phase when you have that epiphany and you realize you're like fuck hang on a minute i need to get serious here i need to you know I'm, i need to start looking for different things so i mean it would be better just to look for those things earlier on but i don't blame anyone for not because we're all driven by our biology and i mean you mm-hmm. know women's biology it's, and let's you, know, not, you, you guys are driven by what you find hot at the time right but and it's, let's it's not, not necessarily the right thing let's not sit here and let's not sit here and pretend that being a stay-at-home mom is as exciting is as exciting as this. It, there's no way being a stay-at-home mom is as exciting as this. But you better fucking believe it's more fulfilling. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, have a, I, have a, I have a question yes. for the ladies, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to have you guys think about it, and then I'm going to come back once I read the, the chats. chats. Does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes with men? Oh. Think about that. I'll come back, and uh, we'll start here again. Does a woman <laughs> still deserve her dream man Read it again. after waiting and or making mistakes mistakes with men before? All right. All right. I'm going to read these, and then uh, hopefully you guys have some good answers here, and we'll see what you guys have to say. Um, okay. We got um, – okay. Damn. This panel ready to go swimming with them floaties. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying there, That's my Durag friend. Myron. Durag Myron. Appreciate that. Uh, Bender the Offender goes, all these women belong in a five and below store. God what damn, the fuck? Holy a what? Yeah, mama. Five, five and below, below. store. He's trying to say that you guys are not that attractive. Dollar store. Oh. Thank you for paying for that comment. Uh, <laughs> what else? Thank, Thank you for else watching. Mine, I always say this in Castle Club, but I'm trying to prove this urban legend true. Before and after our show, legend says you spent your time in the bathroom shadow box in front of the mirror, <laughs> getting one last pump before taking on these three or four. True or false, by the way, this whole panel castle tonight except Don and Troy. Even Icy getting castle. Uh, no, I don't shadow box before the show. <laughs> I should say, I should say what? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like shadow box guys. before the show. Let's keep going. Um, and that's for Punisher. Hey, guys, I believe. And guys, if you guys want to get your chat shown no matter what, go on. Uh, subscribe Castle to Club. Castle TV. Club.tv, man. Yep. Um, hey, guys, I believe a, a great way to communicate the difference between men having a high BC versus body count versus women is body count is when men have sex they have the same sex with different faces but when women have sex the experience is different from man to man down to Marco okay interesting point uh fresh as dog Okay. Told you. Here he is. My dog is watching. Damn, these chicks look like they just came from the child support court. Ratchet's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Hero, thanks. Can you awesome. tame him, please? Can you take care of him? He needs to be tamed. My, my dog. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, send an asteroid said, someone him. said that Dominican has been cast before. Also, Fresh, do you talk dirty in the bedroom? If so, do you still stutter in that moment? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, I don't. You, 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 you like the dick? Whole panel IQ in the lower double digits. God damn. My dog going crazy. Uh, Derek the Trader, question for ladies. How many women want Tinder to create height verification for men? Ooh. Would it be fair if they also created weight verification for women? Oh, uh, I'm crazy. Well, uh, you'd be, be surprised crazy. at how many girls actually don't use Tinder, my friend. Um... 
Uh, Emiliano goes, uh, question, ladies, who would you take serious? A guy who was in a 10-year relationship with one body count or a guy with 25 body count never in a serious relationship? And for the boys, vice versa, WFNF. Okay, you know, I could run around the table on that one real quick. Actually, I could just do raise a raise of hands. Okay, so ladies, who would you take more serious? A guy that's been in a 10-year relationship, but he only has one body count, or a guy that's been with 25 different women, but never in a serious relationship? Um, raise your hands if you would take the guy that was in a 10-year relationship, but he only had sex with one girl. Raise your hands. I'll take the 10-year. 10-year? 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 Okay, so the rest of you will go with the guy that had 25 women. If it was a girl, Before. like, mm -hmm. But they don't want to know that she, okay, now, she was actually one? serious. What? If he was actually serious. Like, for example... No, he was never in a serious relationship, but, he, but he's had sex with 25 women. Yeah. Yeah, but if he's trying to be serious with me or be serious with... Them. Okay, it depends on that's if a, he's trying to be serious. Caveat, yeah. Okay, well... Let's suppose that then. No, yeah, let's suppose he would be serious. Yes, yes. But he's never been in a serious relationship. Right. Okay. Good. So, one more time. Still a 10 year relationship, one girl, or guy that had 25 girls, no serious relationships, but he wants to be serious now. Who are you going to give the chance to? So, raise your hands if you want the guy that only has one body and 10 year relationship. One, two, three. Okay. The rest of you prefer the guy that has a little bit more experience. Yeah. He's got to know what he's doing, hasn't he? Under now, the, you know. we can ask the guys that same question. <laughs> Who are we going with, guys? I mean, this is easy. Obviously, it's 10 oh, yeah, we're going with we're the 10-year. Uh, yeah. 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 That right. one body, she got to be a beast. You, okay. you learn that one person. You, exactly, that's what I'm saying. You have to learn that, that okay. person. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Yeah, uh, women value experience, men don't. Yeah, we don't. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, we don't value ex our girl to be experienced, but women from value us, us being we'll, experienced. We'll, we'll help her. Yeah. Why can't a woman's standards come from what her their father did, but a man's standards can't come from what their his mother did? It's always go date your mom. Then that's a black man <laughs> right there. You've been dating too many black women, my friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, that's what they be saying. Donovan and Troy are gracing the new studio. Let's fun go. FNF for life. Missed the earlier stream. These Money Monday credit card best uh, best credit cards have helped me tremendously. Thank you so much, oh, yeah, guys. Good. I'm going to do another episode for y'all on the best travel credit cards. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Vardom goes. My wife and I met. On meat oh, time. On oh, meet me. That's what I was talking about. That's yours, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. Back when it was my yearbook, it was social, but now nothing but a bunch of losers begging for helmet duty. <laughs> <laughs> also, 50 down and gym membership restarted. Get it, guys. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Being fat is unacceptable. So, did you give your guy helmet duty? No. What's helmet duty? But like giving him yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felicio. Uh, the Asian uh, prince yeah. of Zamunda and Wakanda fresh would like to ask yeah. you how Daniela Morris who's Daniela? <laughs> That's oh me. my god. That's yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. No, for tacos and back to the crib where he'll meet our dog Harold before bedroom from Get Her Fresh. Yeah! Get Her Fresh! All right. Get that's, Her that's Yes! Yeah. 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 You said earlier on the show, the death of a relative or a loved one, nothing crushes a man's soul like a woman cheating on him. There's no greater physical emotional pain. One of one, two. Wow. Then he goes, are we really pedestalizing women that Here much that go. a bitch cheating on us is the number one thing that destroys a man's soul? Losing a loved one is way worse because you're losing a real one. Check this out. You've never been cheated on. On. Mm -hmm. You've never been cheated on. Look, man. It, it, look, it, it's it's. We're, I'm not, we're not pedestalizing women by being honest about them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of people. A lot of people say, "Well, Donovan, you buy Devin this, and you de buy Devin that. That's simping." No. The definition of simping is giving an undeserving woman access to your time, energy, attention, and resources. That's the definition of simping. So. Like, I understand, and, and, and look, I appreciate this guy's super chats, but this is where we get guys who try to be <laughs> Captain Meathead Red Pill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything for a woman. If I, I just get what I want. I kick out. Gentlemen, women need something out of the relationship, exactly. too, right? You have mm. to understand that, but but you don't give it to them unless they deserve it. So, no, I'm not pedestalizing women by saying that the worst uh, emotional pain that a man can feel is by getting cheated on by his woman. You've clearly never been in a relationship with a woman oh, who has well, cheated at least, on you. At least, at least mm -hmm. again, this all comes down to biology. This isn't like a choice. It's not like, oh, I pedestalize this woman so yeah, much, so I feel really bad. It's like it's it's how you fucking feel, and the way the, the reason you feel that is 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 because of biological, you know, your biological construction, right? You know, if a woman goes and fucks some other dude, right? It's a different that, kind that, of pain. That, it's a different kind yeah. of pain, but that directly affects your parental, you know, <laughs> your potential parent, if there was any potential child there, yeah. right? It's a fucking you, you can't you can't be sort of do a clever red pill argument against you know the reality of your own fucking biology. It's just you know I think yeah. I think this dude's trying to be clever about it, but it's yeah. not. Yeah, this is I'm, like it's almost like it's con it's almost like it's concern trolling. It's almost like he's trying to come off as this. He's, well, so, you're he's, he's so hardcore. Yeah, I'm so hardcore. And I don't fuck. I only fuck nines and tens, bro. If you only fuck nines and tens, you are paying prostitutes, friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Shout out to you, uh, Three Diglets. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Oh, we're still on Twitch and Facebook. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. What the hell? 
Yeah, yeah, yo, he just donated up. 400 bucks. Yeah, no, it's three. Uh, what? No, no yeah, yeah. He said three more. diglets. I appreciate that, my friend. But, 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 yeah, actually, I think I still spelled it wrong, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, bro. Shout out to you, three diglets. Oh, he, um, oh, he, he it's, a, it. it's actually 500 total. I've definitely now. been cheated on. I lost loved ones, and it's not close. He, I, I don't believe that. I don't but believe that. I, I, I get what he's saying. I'm not. Like, look, maybe, whatever. Maybe to him, it's, it's a more different of, like, pain. It's a different pain. Loss man. of family members means more to him, but it's a different type of pain. It's. A, I guess what I meant so, to say was a different kind of pain. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't like it when guys. And not. I'm not saying that that's what this guy did. But we have we in have general. a lot of guys in this community that try to be too, too alpha. Yeah. Look, man. Look, if you love a woman, that's not pedestalizing. Her unless you're a simp. Like, come on, I was, working, simp. I was working with this guy. I was working God, with this guy a, a while back. I was working with this guy a while back, and he was like, "I don't simp for women." And he said, "I was with this. I was with my girlfriend for three years, and I never once told her she looked beautiful." And he was like, really proud of this fact. I never told her she looked nice once. I'm like, for fuck's sake, crazy, man. bro. Don't be a fucking autistic fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we've got to like we we take it all this red pill stuff. Yeah, it's helpful. We need to you need to learn it, but don't go fucking mental. Don't just dictate your life because uh, of something you've read in a fucking you know article or. Yeah. Of a video, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking yeah. insane. Real quick, we're gonna kill the Twitch and Facebook streams, guys. Come on over to Rumble or YouTube, man. Uh, rumble.com slash fresh fit or you know, youtube.com uh, slash fresh fit Miami. Um, but yeah, make sure and also, guys, do me a favor. We got like uh, over 20,000 y'all watching right now between the two different platforms. So go ahead and like the video on YouTube, open up a tab and open uh, like it on YouTube because uh, we're splitting the audience. But we want to make sure that we hit the algorithm hard and Let's comment below for the algo, guys, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, where are we at? What? But a lot of guys, I would just say as well, never cool. dated a girl seriously. So they think it's just one way, but it's multidimensional. You have to be that guy with frame and game, but understand Jeez. their emotions as well. So yeah. it's, it's more than just one thing. It's yeah. deeper than uh, that. Yeah, way deeper. Okay, and then where are we at here? Uh, okay, uh, six blown goes. Pose will get passed around by the same guys, then think it's all guys. SMH. Let's go, my fresh Don. <laughs> Troy Mobiles and Bean Headed Chris. All right. And what, then, <laughs> what, did, what did Chris do? Uh, Bean Headed Chris, damn. Yeah. He catch a uh, men by nature are the more promiscuous gender, but for the first time in history, women closed the gap on cheating due to attention from social media and the advent of extreme feminism. Bingo. Damn. Fair enough. Damn. Uh, Chris Lancaster says How many on the panel have an OnlyFans manager? Who has an OnlyFans manager? Just one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if the manager could make you 10 times the money, would you work with a manager if you want more info? DM me on this. This nigga. Best music 2000. pH levels are high tonight. Shout out to FNF team. All right, best music. And then we got uh, Come. Come on, some oh my boy. God. Okay. okay. So wow. Wow. Oh, no. Men wow. have only three Don't basic you. tests for women. First, good booty and giving it up whenever. Second, uh -huh. making sandwiches. And then third, quiet game. Okay. Oh, Sounds good to me. Not the uh, Al Boys, I'd say that by <laughs> and large, by females' and large. Uh, workers' contributions to society is insignificant. Jobs for women are created primarily to keep them entertained. Their output is generally next to nothing. There you go. Oh, All right. Shit. That was his fancy way of saying women work useless jobs. Uh, for the lady that said, we came from vagina, if we don't nut on you, you can stay all day long in front of the sun with your legs open. <laughs> and you will only get your pussy tainted. Nothing more. Tan. 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 Okay. Oh. Interesting. Do you want to respond to that? Vice versa. Vice versa, like she said. Yeah, because men and Vice women versa? are totally the same. <laughs> meaning, the meaning said? like, either way it go, if, even if you nutting me, I still have to push you out after nine months. I, you have to develop in my stomach. I have to feed you. <laughs> no I have one's to... disputing this. Why, why did you bring that, that up? That. No, I'm just saying he's talking fun. about he's talking about No, but without the man's sperm, you can't do anything. Yeah, he's, okay, he's it was for uh, sure, vice versa. Without him, I can't do anything. Without me, he can't do anything. No, but you She's remember how you made the argument that you all came from a woman, remember? Yeah, that? so why Earlier? do y'all feel so low about women? You're right. It's what I'm You're saying. right. We hate women. Let's move on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's Jesus. not that I feel low, yeah. it's that I'm able to look at the world how it is <laughs> and understand that in general. Women aren't as Bruh. good at men as men. You guys talk about women, y'all. Can I finish my sentence real fast? Can I finish my sentence? I said yeah. that from looking at the world, I'm not speaking long women. I'm saying that I've noticed, and I think everyone can objectively say this: men are better at almost every human endeavor than women are. You've spoken low about me because you said that I was incompetent. I mean, you are. I'm are. not. I mean, you came really late. Oh my god, she's hurting my ears, dude. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, you came late. You okay. heard my, well, let me you ask you this then. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Have I lied, though? About me, yes. <laughs> have I lied about the other statements I no, made? No, you have not. You are okay. speaking some facts. She's growing some... on me, y'all. She's growing on me. <laughs> Stop. Whatever. Baby, like, crazy. your voice is annoying, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're yes, killing me. Yes, You're killing yes, my 
Yeah, oh, vibes. Oh, hi, mate. <laughs> All that in my ears. Is like, she making fun of you? That was anyway, the wrong I'm guy. Oh, I'm saying that. Get that shit. He's talking about he's black. He's fucking I didn't say anything. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a lot of annoying shit that's going on. Especially your voice with the with the mustache. Oh, you mean you mean the beard? Yeah, the beard, mustache. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your voice. It's annoying as fuck. My voice is my voice is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sweetheart. Number one. Number one. Number two. I'm not listening. Uh, shit, you should shit. listen to this panel. I am listening, but it's this still. Is, he this is why the, 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 what you guys are respectful. witnessing mm-hmm. is the reason what why guys, was, yeah. there's a mass exodus of mm-hmm. black men leaving black women. It's because oh, of shit. Like, but I don't oh. talk to black men. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. You are literally verifying every stereotype of the American <laughs> black woman here in less than two wait, hours. Wait. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Are you no, seriously are. making your, So now you're going to make fun of the way I talk. Are you going to make fun of the way I talk? Now you we're going to repeat it. Now we're going to repeat it. You just made fun of me. Gentlemen, 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 Look at her. <laughs> I never I never cared about a black man I wanted me. I never once said that. I just said that he talked about me. Question for you. Don't you. Even know I, think, I think right I now. made a fairly Ooh. true assessment by saying that you're fairly incompetent. I mean, during I'm the course of the really podcast, not. I gave you a few chances to prove me wrong, but you don't Myron, understand. Myron, she doesn't know what incompetent I mean, means, dude. You don't understand questions. Understanding and like, being comprehensive to things that are going oh, around and saying, my, yes, okay. I do you know, know. How about this? How about this? How about this? Before I read the oh super chats, God. before I read the super chats, <laughs> I asked all the ladies a question. <laughs> do you remember what their question was? Yes. Go ahead. Basically... If a woman's past affects her on dating a man, oh in my so God. many words. What? Not really, but Wait, okay. So say the question again. You said does her, <laughs> does her her does her past or her mistakes with different men affects her from dating a man in the future? Basically, uh, American black women, y'all. There she is. American no, black women. No, no, no. There okay. she is. All right, okay. Queen. You gotta think. You gotta think before you answer the question. Yeah, you I gotta mean, think. like I said. During the course of the podcast, I, I would argue that you're fairly incompetent. That's fine. I'm just saying, like, no. it doesn't... Okay, it, so say your question again. Because oh, that's section, my point. You don't say questions, <laughs> sweetheart. Section you eight, ask them. You talking section about section eight? eight. Oh, oh niggas in the chat. Section eight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll oh, rephrase the question again. Did we read all the chats? Section eight. Section eight, Nisha. Okay. All right. So, um, she was, actually, she did get most of the question right. Yeah. Kudos to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, question for you. Question for you, real quick. In school, did you get B English? Yes, I did. I got A in English. B in biology? You I was A, yeah. A, B on a roll. Yeah, okay. I don't, yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, I can show you my transcripts from college, 3.0 or higher. Ooh. The right. Ooh. But wait, you said that just 3. because 0. a person is educated doesn't make them smart. Oh! oh I, know. I, know. I remember you said that. Good catch. Just you because did. a person mm-hmm. is educated does not mean Good they're point, smart. Miss, I... Miss Genius here had a 3.0 at, at, at DeVry University. Yeah. DeVry. DeVry. There she right. is. Okay, that's um, fine. Anyway, um, but no, it's not that I'm speaking law on women. I'm just like, you know, just stating fact that, like, it's true. Like, okay, can you men go, are better than women at almost every human endeavor. Had, I'm sorry? The question that you had. That okay, you so you agree with me then? No, I'm oh talking about God. the question no, she, that we were repeat on. The question, no, 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 I, I get that, but do you do you agree or disagree with that point that men are better than women at most human endeavors? Something. <laughs> I'm losing brain cells. Okay, what are women better than men at? I feel like my IQ is going down. Fucking understanding. Understanding what in particular? Just understanding a lot of stuff. Like y'all said that a man cheat on women. Women have to understand why their man cheat. They're but do most women understand though? Most a lot of these women though? understand. They all said that they that they don't mind their man cheating on them. No, majority actually said no. They said no, but they said that they will still stay with them. That no, means no, that they're no, no, no. Once again, she was not okay. listening. Whatever. What yeah. you mean, only one did this? It was about two of us. Majority said no. They said that this. all they were acceptive of all men being cheaters, basically not accepting them in a relationship, but they were acceptive. <laughs> Of men being cheaters, they all accepted that men were cheating. We were being realistic. That, exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, you're right. We're wrong. Yo, Let's move on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is giving me flashbacks. Flashbacks to what? Other girls on the show. <laughs> like, it, she's talking, but it's like she's shouting. God damn. I'm really not. She talks in all shout. caps. Maybe it's the mic. Nah, no, no, it's, 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 it's definitely you, girl. It's fine. It's I just, okay. right. just I talk loud. That's established fine. so many things. Can we but it's fine. To somebody yeah, else yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're gonna move on. Yeah, you still got that. Uh, don't, still, don't, ladies, oh it's fine. It's our show. We'll run it the way yeah. we want. Yeah. Uh, just don't forget where the fuck you're at. Can we do? It's not your podcast. Shut up. So, hey, we'll girls do that shit, man. Uh, any any other chats? Yeah, we have one more. One more. All right, go ahead. Uh, and, then and then we'll, we'll do. Then we'll, uh, then we'll do the questions and last thoughts. Because wait, 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 final wait, thoughts. Question, oh, what time right? is this? Past huh? my bedtime. The, one, the last question. <gasps> I've been yawning for the past. Oh, yeah. What time is it? It's almost one o'clock. You <laughs> know, long as Vincent, I stayed uh, up till one. Uh, so okay, damn, the black girl is dumb as hell. I don't usually dabble in the dark, but nah. bet she'll look a lot smarter with my meat stick in her mouth. Oh, oh god damn it! Her thoughts. Wait. Wow. Shut up, Vincent. My head is a little thick here. All right. All right, we're gonna start here and we'll work our way back this way. Because uh, I think we'll start here a bit. Or this is supposed to start. Okay. It's fine. We'll start here. Okay. I'll repeat the question one more time. Hopefully, you guys thought about it during the course of this conversation. Does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes with men before? No. Why? Why? Because I feel like you passed up your opportunity. You only get a limited amount. Why are you going to pass up your opportunity? If you had a right man what? that What's was there for you and gave you everything that you wanted, why would you pass up that opportunity? Like, why are you looking for another opportunity now? Okay, you're 29. Do you still think you deserve your dream man? Oof. Wait, 29? No. I don't. Yeah. I think right, he left the building. Hey, I think he left the building. Bill, you said at the top of the show, you want <laughs> yes, a man, double back. right? Mm -hmm. That actually won't cheat. Right. So, that's a dream, man. She knows that's not her dream, man. That's why she knows. If you know you, you don't deserve Because right I already now. had it, and it goes back to the question. So I already why, had the man. Why'd you leave him? Seven years. Why'd you leave him? Yeah. It's a long story. Too long oh, to explain. It's simple. Oh, painful. Why'd you leave him? Why'd I leave him? Because as a woman, you grow from a man. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't just be with a man, and this is just bluntly speaking, that wakes up in the morning and you're not brushing your teeth. Oh. You're not oh. getting ready for work. <laughs> you're not spraying that cologne on. You're not Whoa. taking care of what you got to take care took of. took you seven years to know. Seven years. The man took you to know. Yeah. 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 Stupid. So yeah. 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 a homeless individual. Personal hygiene issues. It's my fault, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen until, like, after the fifth year when they get a little bit comfortable. <laughs> Where are you from? Hylia? Yeah, Hylia, no, for I'm sure. Cuban. Can you? No, I'm You are stupid. No, the bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Little bottom. Homestead? We're oh. from Homestead. Makes sense. Oh, oh, right. sense. I swear to God, bro. It's either Kendall, Hylia, or Homestead. So, Same shit. Question hood, for you, you in particular. So, since you understand that you passed your prime opportunity to get a guy, do you think you're in a position to negotiate and tell a man that he can't cheat on you? No. So but why I do you want that. a guy that won't cheat on you then? Because I can <laughs> set my expectations. I can set the expectations high, but yeah, I got to settle what for wants. what I got to settle for. Okay. You, were you, were you were saying that earlier. She's being right? humble. She's, she's, right. Right. She's, right. she's, learned, but she's learned something during the show. I learned something during the show. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. All right, there it is. All right, what about you? Do you think a woman still deserves her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes with men before? No. She's going to, at some point, she's going to have to settle and be realistic. Okay. All right, what about you? I think she does. I don't okay. think that, you know. Why? Some, because I don't think, like, for me, it's like, I know that the person I'm going to be with made mistakes, too, and has a past, too. Oh, so it's not like, the same, boo. You're dreaming. Not the same. Mm -mm. Well, go ahead. Mm -hmm. so, continue on. You were saying that because they have, the man's going to make mistakes, too, so it should be fair, like, yeah. on both sides? Yeah. Do you think a man's past matters as much as a woman's past, though? Mm -mm. No. Nobody pays attention to that shit. Nope. I mean, not unless in society's problem. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, me ask, no. A, let me ask you: Are you more interested in your man's past or his future? Yeah. Um, you personally, in your man, do you really care that he fucked fifty girls, or are you more concerned with him making money and taking care of you in the future? In the future, like I don't, I don't care really about. Now, let, now, if I were to ask him without you around, do you think you would care more about your future or your past? Um, I don't know. You got to ask him. Okay, well, I can tell you pretty much say, 99 alert. Percent sure <laughs> because men are very similar. We all tend to think the same. He's going to probably be more concerned with your past mm -hmm. than your future. Well, Women tend to be interested in the future. Men tend to be interested in the past. So yes. I do you think it's the same really, though? I don't know. No. But what do you know? <laughs> Stupid. Wait, you're in a relationship now, right? <laughs> yeah. Is your man of a <clears throat> darker hue? You already asked me that. <laughs> no, I asked her that. I'm asking you. You did. You asked me that and said because of my speed. Off the air. 
I did. So is your man um, of a darker persuasion? He is. And how would I know that? What's um, on your fingers? Oh my gosh, we already went over this. Queen of Queen of Spades, y'all. Queen of Spades. Just just putting it out there. Putting it out there. Okay. So okay, so you so you said before, yes, a woman deserves uh, even if she made bad decisions to still have her dream man. So you're saying because everyone's past doesn't matter? Yeah, or, I think why? everybody has a past. So it's like it's like some are worse than others, but especially you. But you know. But we just discussed how a woman doesn't care about a man's past, but a man definitely cares about a woman's past. So wouldn't it be? Now you're confusing me. I, <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, I guess a woman's past is probably more important to a man than a man's past would be to a woman. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. So since you're, agree but I with still that, think that she should that that a woman should be able to get a, her dream man even. You know, she if, made bad decisions. Yeah. Interesting. Let me ask what you a question. What kind of bad decisions? So you said that you work. Uh, in, uh, you're you're um, um, paralegal. paralegal and you do yeah. business litigation, etc. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's say someone has a 400 credit score Ooh. right? and they go into a bank and they say, you know what, man, I want a loan on a house. Do you think they're going to give them no, a loan on that house? That. No. Why not? Because their credit is bad. OK, so what, what, how did they get bad credit? By fucking it up. In the, the past. In the past. past. Oh. Hey, like oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like I deserve this loan with my 400 credit score. It doesn't matter if my I want my dream home. Do I really deserve it, though? I'll give you a home loan with a 400 credit score and charge you 50% interest. <laughs> <laughs> so but do you see understand? How, see how it but doesn't... The, yeah. There's a difference, but it's like she said, I mean, there's a difference between what you could aspire to. I mean, yeah, sure, you could still aspire to it, but you've got to be realistic. Mm. And you've got to think, and again, depending on the nature of the mistakes, you've got to be realistic Ooh, and yeah, think, well, true. fuck it. You know, look, am I actually going to get what I what I want here? And maybe not. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. What, what about, yeah, what about you? Does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and, or making bad mistakes remember you're before. under oath i think a woman who <laughs> i think a woman who makes a lot of mistakes definitely has to settle in one aspect or the other oh well said okay. yeah. what about you miss g yes <laughs> don't ask me I'll to repeat the question yes because when you're young you make a lot of mistakes and sometimes you have to mess around for you to know what you really want. That's like me that saying I sense. have to take all the drugs to make sure I like none of them. <laughs> like the guy oh, with one shit. body and the one with 25 body. I would say the one with 25 because yeah, he, but, are, he yeah. already yep. fuck around. Yeah, yeah, because, because, yeah, men are different. Men are women are different. But, so you want the guy that has experience. Do you think men yeah. care about experience though? And mm -hmm. a woman? Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the man makes the woman and the yeah. woman makes the man too. Yeah. Obviously, people have to submit and know how to lead, but a woman is only going to submit to a man that properly knows how to lead. Yeah, but I mean, it's actually an advantage for a guy to have a, big, say... a bigger body count, isn't it, really? Because he's got to know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's got to know what he's Absolutely. doing under the, you know. Women I mean, know inherently. Like, yeah. women are inherently attracted to men. They know get laid. Most That's women. Right. So a, couple, a couple of girls here said that they go with the dude who's only smash one woman in a tender Stop relationship but I mean to, realistically most women want a guy who knows what he's doing come on alright so okay, you said so going back so you think material. Is, a, is a lot of good women out there wife material where that how <laughs> to Not do what they have to do to provide for their family their and that doesn't define they as a person <laughs> and I understand and I understand that but because you had to work at the club because you had to make a uh, only fans doesn't define you as a person you're, it doesn't listen, mean that you are horror you mean that you can be a I stay home wife I agree with you life. I agree with you that but doesn't mm, define you I agree but if I were to come to you and try to hit on you it'd be like yo look like Right now, my future's not really looking too bright. I live at my mom, and you know, I play video games. I, you know, I make five oh, bucks a day on Twitch. Uh, you know, I feel like <laughs> I should have the woman of my dreams, but you know, I don't feel like my future should have any impact on the present. You can give me your number. Hell no. Hell Thank no. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. okay. So, if you're willing to decline that guy, why should he accept a woman that's a sex worker? All right. I'm going to be honest. Okay. I talked about this, actually. I posted this. Literally, I posted this earlier on my Instagram. I think if a woman decides to monetize her sexuality Bingo. or go into certain professions, she no longer qualifies or deserves a good man. Real shit. Period. Mm -hmm. Because what you've basically done is when you give up your sexuality or you monetize it, you're giving it out to a bunch of other guys, so they're, you've broken the loyalty rule. Men don't ask for much from women. We just want you to not be a slut and exercise sexual fidelity to us. And just be nice. It's not the same. So I think if a girl's involved in certain things... I mean, I'll be honest with you. Your guy okay, can go on your OnlyFans and look at you suck a di dick on a plane. Okay. He's never going to take you seriously. Okay. 
Your, your value depreciates, babe. So woman in my place, like my case right now, mm -hmm. she'll be okay with not getting their treatments. I know what comes with it and I know what I'm doing. Not everybody goes is to f is to get married. Someone was going off on me on Instagram the other day because I made a TikTok. It was about positions I want my man to put me in. It was me checking ass. Then it was a house, getting oh, married, shit. getting old. And they like, do you, you crazy if you think you're going to get married? If someone's going to take you serious? Okay, if they don't. Because I, when I started doing this, I know what... Well, like okay, the consequences. So you don't care. You don't care. So You're I don't cool care that. about another goal. Okay. We understand. That is not getting married. Listen, listen. We hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Stop the show. You said earlier that you want to, you need a man. I say that, like, but I really don't. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think what she's trying to say, like, she's trying to say that she has a valid reason for but, doing OnlyFans. However valid that reason may be, I might have a valid reason for being a loser. It does not matter. In, in other words, <clears throat> like, we as men, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna get with a fat chick who's on her weight loss journey. I I'm just this... not, hold on, shh, I'm not gonna do it. That's just all there is to it. I don't care. Just like you are not gonna get with a bum. It's the same thing. Well, I think she's also saying she's made a considered decision. Yeah. She knew what the consequences were before she went in and fine. Whether you'll, re you know, change your mind on that in, in the future or regret that, who, I don't know. Maybe you won't. But you, you, you're saying you, you decided to do it anyway, regardless of the social consequences, because marriage and stuff is not your... Go. Because to, to me, it's more important to provide for my family, for my two but, kids. But and, you also have to be mindful. And to have my kids financially, <laughs> emotionally stable later in the future. The yeah, me but, chasing, but, but, but you're not in survival mode. That me chasing love, but, what, but I already put it in a mansion. Okay, that's but, fine. Yeah. But at what cost? Because now your kids are going to have to deal with the mm -hmm. consequences of your actions. There's kids right now that are going to school and getting bullied yeah. mm -hmm. uh, for, kids that are because they're suicide. able to see their mom on OnlyFans mm -hmm. doing things. Well, I keep my, what I do for a living separately from my personal life. Mm -hmm. That's what oh, I that's, do. That's There's always going to be a hater. You're going to be somebody It depends on the, on the way that you're raising your kids because my kids are going to respect me. Hold on, hold on. You have a big social media following, right? Hmm? You, you have a big social media following, don't you? What did you say? I said you have a big social media following, correct? Yes. So it's going to be impossible for them to separate your personal life and your uh, business. I keep because... it separately, completely separately. But they're going to know. They're, they're going to know. They're going to find, find out. out. It's on yeah. the internet. There's okay, by someone. the time that they find out, they're going to understand <laughs> and appreciate what I did for them. Okay, but you also need to be mindful. Racing, you need to be mindful of what you're doing while you're in survival mode. You're thinking about right now. You're not thinking about right the now, future. Yeah. No, my so, kids, you should be... In control of what your kids are doing on social media. But they're gonna grow up. Mommy, but yeah. There's but always gonna be a hater. Same language, guys. Kids. Hey, just <laughs> give me a second here. We don't like I understand, but men or women, they don't care about the why. They care mm -hmm. about the what. If I tell if I tell if if you if you found out that I made a half a million dollars a year, would it matter what I did? Honestly? Of course not, right? So if a bitch is 300 pounds does it matter why she's 300 pounds <laughs> no does it matter why i'm a fat ass right now no we don't care about the why we care about the what and mm -hmm. women do too you don't give a fuck why we're rich you just care that we're rich we don't care why you were an only fans model we care that you were you probably did it for a very noble reason because no one re no woman really wants to have to sexualize so hold on no woman really wants to have to sexualize herself to for survival but sometimes women are put in that position and, you know, listen, we can feel sorry for that. We're just not going to take you seriously for a long term relationship. Period. That's just part of the consequence. We don't think of you as bad people. We're just we're just not going to mess with you like that. <laughs> OK, and that's fine. And usually you end but, up with somebody from like three different states that don't or you get them from a different country. They don't know what's going on. A that's people, who you marry. A lot of people talk, Go marry them. A lot of people talk about these uh, like. About, let's say, for example, Cardi B. A lot of people say Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of oh, people don't Cardi like hip hop because of what they say. But what is your kids listening to this type of music? Well, that's My because, key that's because is not supposed to be on OnlyFans. No, My kids are not this, supposed but, to be on social media. Parent, so you as a parent, you as a mother, uh -huh. you should be in control of but, what your kids but, but do. You can't control all of the kids yo, yo, yo. that your that your son G, G, G. or your daughter are friends with at school. You're forgetting, right? Other people's kids? <laughs> yeah, that's what I just them, said. Right. And it wouldn't be, even be your fault. Exactly, so she can't control why, everybody's kids, only her own. Why would my kids be around? Like, so you're telling me 
the other people's key, they watch porn and they be remember, on Molly yes. Yes. Not everyone yes, they has the same internet as you. Remember, they do. Remember, remember you might watch your kids. They may not. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then when they show your kids, oh, look, your mom's only fans. What are you going to mm -hmm. do? They're I'm okay because them. I know how I'm raising my kids. Cool. So you're okay with that then? Okay. Right. Cool. But the point oh, is, it okay. can come out. It's not about It's not about you gatekeeping it. It's the fact that other people will find it. That's one of the main reasons I've never heard of it. I know how to handle with it because I know how I'm raising them. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Look, 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 man. Um. The question was specifically, does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes in the past? And I would argue for girls involved in sex work, whether she's a stripper, OnlyFans, escort, sugar baby, whatever, she no longer qualifies for her dream man. That because, doesn't make you bad because person. and let me and let me let me flip it. Let because every talk. guy's dream, right? You want a dream man that's successful and ambitious and tall and good looking, etc. Right. That guy's gonna want something in return. Okay. A guy is going to want a girl that isn't a whore, isn't mm -hmm. going to embarrass him. He can't look her up on the internet and see her sucking dick on a plane. That's a guy's <laughs> dream. So why is it fair for you to get your dream guy, but he's not getting a dream back in return? He's getting a nightmare. Mm. <clears throat> Women don't get it. Like, if you're a slut, that's cool. But I don't, I'm not going to give you my last name because I'm going to look crazy. Look at Will Smith. Look at Logan Paul. Mm. Whenever you w wife up a whore, she fucks you up. Every so time. with all due respect, you don't deserve your dream man. But uh, but you'll be surprised. I still got us to get married. Bruh, and there's by guys what that the caliber of fucking that losers. They don't my by what losers. caliber of look, man. Look, ladies, ladies, ladies. I don't give a fuck how many times you've been proposed to. I don't give a fuck how many guys are in your DMs. I don't give a fuck how many guys ask you on it dates. It don't matter. How many men that you actually like back are proposing to you? Zero. Because if, if it would exactly. Oh, that's a trick question, Because like, mm. the thing is, you would be married if they did. Yeah. Your dream man <clears throat> is not going to propose to you. So I hate it when girls say, well, I get these guys that DM me. I got these guys that want to go on dates. That's like stupid hoe OnlyFans logic that guys hit them up. They hit you up to fuck, not to date or take you seriously, or most importantly, marry you. How many guys are getting down on one knee that you actually fucking respect and want to be with to give you a ring? <laughs> the answer is zero. Yeah, none. Mm. Okay, what about you? Remember the I question? Mean, like, I agree with all of them. Like, I'll say no, because a girl's past, mm -hmm. you know, like, it has everything to do with the man that she's going to get. So I, like, you know. Okay. I say no. So you agree? Yeah. No. For yeah. you? Don't do it, Myra. I agree. No. <laughs> I agree, though, though. <laughs> oh, I think her, her, mic, her, her mic's off. off. Oh, somebody cut off her mic. Oh, girl. Man, girls always unplug the XLR. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, it should be there. Speaking yeah. of penis. No, I don't hear her. Mm -hmm. Here, give her First somebody give her the mic, yeah. Hello? Yes, we got you. I said no. That one should um, work now. Don't. Hello? Yep, we got you now. You can hear me? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Mm-mm. Hello? We could well, I say my answer. There you go. No, because <laughs> if you're gonna stay a, like be a slut, just stay a slut. You don't deserve your dream man. What if she just like put off all the nice guys though? She wasn't a slut. She just waited too long. <laughs> <laughs> then what do you mean by mistakes? Wait, repeat your question. Does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes with men before? It could be even putting off a nice guy. If they made mistakes, then no, she doesn't deserve her dream man. Yeah, but the mistake might be putting off the nice guy, so it's not like doing OnlyFans or something. All right, let then me ask you, you a question. Do you think you deserve? Hold on, hold on. Right. Do you deserve a dream man? Yes. You have two kids. Okay. So. Do you think your dream wow. man is going to want a single mom back in return? Yes. Maybe he has kids. What if he has no kids? Then he won't go looking for her. And I'm not going to look for him. Okay. Trust me. He's not. Trust me. He's high. They'll both be good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So she's, you're going to settle for someone. So you don't. So I already your... have kids. So it doesn't matter if I meet a husband who has kids. Okay. I think what he's, dream, I think the, the, the dream question, man. yeah, the dream man, yeah, 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 I think that's yeah. pretty obvious. The dream man, yeah. My dream man is not someone who doesn't have kids, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, oh. okay. all right, so yeah, got it. Well, that's your choice. All right, your wait, your dream man's gonna have kids? It doesn't matter, I already have kids, so it I don't care matter. if he has kids. I guarantee you, back in the day, her dream man had no kids. Yeah, before I had kids, but I already have kids, so now it's off the table. So you change her yeah. requirements Her dreams now. changed. All right. Okay. Yeah. What about you? She said one. Um, I think that depending on how deep a woman has gotten into her mistakes, no. I think that if maybe her mistake was waiting too long, I think that then you do still How long is too long then? What age? 29. 
Norse. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. I would Stop say me. any older than maybe like 35. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Just <laughs> be very careful to make sure. Any, anything uh, older than 35 is like way too long. What do, you, what do you think is a woman's peak to men? When well, she's the most attractive to men. What do you think? Um, I think that women are attractive all the time. No! <laughs> to men, no? To men, baby. To men. Okay, um, that was not the question I asked. The question I asked was, when do you think women are at They're their peak at and most attractive peak. to men? Um, not you. No. In their prime. <laughs> Got that. Um, I would say their 20s. 20 what, right. would you say? Like mid twenties. Mid twenties, you think is their peak? Okay. So why do you think a girl doesn't didn't have fucked up until thirty five, if her peak is was twenty five? Um. I mean that's ten years later. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, whenever a woman is Stupid. at, whenever a woman is at her peak, you me. <laughs> she, you know, probably has uh, whatever. Like, it doesn't mean that she needs to get married at her very peak. But I think that once you reach like a certain age, like when it makes sense like to get married 35. when you have your peak value, so that you can negotiate for the best terms. Like right now. But, um, I mean, that depends on what her her life goals are. Do what you, do you, think most do you life want goals to are? be married? Everyone's is different. What really? are yours? What are mine? Mm -hmm. um, personally, I wouldn't say that ideally uh, at, let's say, when I'm 25, saying, uh, that Have I would want to be married. Was that, <laughs> that, yeah. Ideally for you being married at 25, isn't it? You said? Yeah, I mean, when I see myself at 25, I see Do you want myself... a family someday? Possibly. Okay, so it's kind of up in the air. You don't know. Yeah. How old are you again? You're 20? 20. 20 yeah. You, oh my God. Listen, you're still, you're still young and beautiful, sweetheart. Find a husband now. Find a husband now, Find man. Good man. And dude, I've like seen, a bomb. dude, I've seen so many <laughs> fucking gorgeous women sitting around talking just like you. We were talking about Nina the Pineapple. You guys remember who she was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nina well, the, well, Nina the Pineapple is a fucking way. She's a beautiful <laughs> fucking woman who sells pictures of her ass on OnlyFans for $5 a month. She should have been married a decade ago. But guess what? A decade ago, she had the same attitude as you did. Well, I don't know. Listen, man, when you're young and beautiful, you seem like you have, it seems like you have all the time in the world until you don't. Ask the 20 somethings on the panel how much time they think they have left. Like, you got, like, ladies, we gotta be smart about this. Mm, Quit denying yeah. what you really... Listen, admitting that you want a, a, a husband and family doesn't make you weak. It makes you a woman. But the mm -hmm. truth of the matter is, right, every girl who's, like, in her 20s, whatever, right, is, has, has probably met countless dudes that theoretically could have made a great husband. Yeah, that's what I was and telling she's them earlier. And she's passed them all up. And that's a choice, and that's absolutely fine. But, choices have, but choices have consequences. Okay, and that's why he's saying, you know, this thing about do you deserve it? If you've passed up all of these dudes, because it's it's bullshit to say that that's... none of you guys, all of you guys here, have probably met dudes that could have made a fantastic husband. And you're like, yeah, he was too nice, he's a bit boring. Oh, Chad from fucking the, you know, whatever. He was he's hotter. Blah blah blah. And you passed up all of these dudes, and it's like, you know, and and, and you've got to, at some point you have to accept. Well, okay, I made those choices, and now I'm going to have to take you know, whatever's left sort of thing. Listen, listen, you don't have to take this advice, but <laughs> listen, just, you are entering a time in your life where I would say probably three to four men over the next 10 years are gonna be serious candidates for husband material, and you're gonna disqualify them for a bullshit reason. When you're 35 years old and not married, you're gonna be like, you know what, I wonder what happened to Brian and Todd and Anthony. Make the smart choice. Make the smart choice because I'm telling you, time runs out very quickly. If they and show no husband gems. material, I Perfect. don't think that I would immediately reject that. Say again? If they show husband material, like there's actually someone in front of my face and that, that's mm, like, but, you know. But what's husband material? Husband material is different to the hot guy in the club material, isn't it? And that's the fucking mm, problem. That's not husband material. Well, Okay, fine. But oh, what, there what it most, is. You see? So oh, what do most younger girl. girls go for, though? They're not going to go for the like the husband, but you know the sensible accountant who's got a nice button-down shirt and all nope. that shit. Are they? This is what I said earlier, and ladies, you have to understand: when you're young, you go for the men you want; when you're older, you go for the men you need. Mm -hmm. But when you are at your sexual peak, you can have it both ways. You just got to lock down one of them. I'm trying to tell you, man.
I'm okay. trying to tell you. Take my look. You don't have to take they, my advice. So just let you know. Listen, man. So are no, you they don't. But it is what it is. I think it's because our age is harder because most men our age are broke. So I don't know what that has to do with anything. But you could, you could, you could date a guy who's Hold older. On. than you. What does that have to do with anything? How old because is well, how I mean, in that same argument, I mean, most women are fat. So. Yep. Oh. <laughs> How there old is. is your soon to be wife? I like I'm it. Sorry. I like it. How old is your soon to be wife? She is 47 years old. Oh, okay. How old is your soon to be yeah. husband? Ooh. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Didn't mean to ask you that question. If I was looking for somebody, he'll be in his late probably late 30s. I'm 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 sure I'm I'm sure you are, sweetheart. And she can get any man you want. Okay. <laughs> I just date men in their late 30s. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> then, so, what about your turn? Go ahead. What uh, do, does a woman still deserve her dream man after waiting and or making mistakes? Well, I feel like a woman deserves whatever she desires. Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh, boy. As far as whether oh, it be her dream man after making mistakes, everybody <laughs> makes mistakes. You good? <laughs> everybody makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Sure. Okay, but wouldn't it be fair to say that mistakes have consequences? They do, but it's a lot of successful people that made a lot of bad mistakes. Way um, worse than anybody on this panel right now. So, I don't believe that. So, you think you still deserve certain things even if you made mistakes? So, like, let's say I rob a bank. Do I deserve to, you know... Be a free you, man? You, you deserve to go to jail, but then oh, after okay. you go to jail and you learn from your mistake and you make your life better, you could be a multi-millionaire after you rob a bank. Yeah, but I still can't vote. I still can't get certain jobs. That's you right. Can, you can't... Yes, most certainly, there's but consequences if to those I'm actions. a multi-millionaire after I robbed a bank, I... I changed my life around. Oh my God! Did yeah. you seriously so, just you say, serious? "Am I a multi-millionaire after I robbed the bank?" It's you are literally the dumbest fucking woman who has ever been on this okay, podcast. Okay, Maya Angelou a was a whole a prostitute after Maya, robbing a fucking Maya bank. Maya Angelou was a whole prostitute before she became a, a known poet. So what are you talking about? You ain't Maya Angelou, boo. Stop it. I don't care about being Maya Angelou you or better, not, you but should. I know what I, I know. Research. Maya Angelou was a whole sex worker before she became a known. Poet. So you gonna be a noted poet? Poet, <laughs> maybe. You gonna whatever. be a noted poet? I don't have to be a poet. I can but, be whatever man, I want right, to be. Fine. You're right. I'm wrong. It's too late for you, girl. I already Just make buy money. Already. I'm, I'm sure I don't you do. Wanna, I, you, I'm, you don't. You know, is, no, 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 no. You're right. You don't need a man. Here. And you're over here telling hey, us hey, hey. to be young and date. Date young. Your wife oh, is, about, is 47. What, 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 you gonna try to talk shit about my wife? What about your husband? I don't want a husband. Oh, right you don't now. want a husband. Making my necessity of virtue. American black women, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh by the way, guess what? American black no. men. No. American no. black men no, 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 ain't no. she. Her. Who the fuck Just said no, 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 she's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. No, no, she's right. American black, American black men. American black men. Ain't shit. And you, like you're talking about me. Because so what are you talking about? Ooh, that's because you All ain't shit. So no, you ain't oh shit. What are you, you talking can, about? Can, 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 <laughs> if y'all want to remove me, y'all can. I don't care. Like, you no, are you're literally stupid. the what? dumbest person no, you're the I have dumbest ever book met I ever life. met in my fucking life. I guess so that what makes you want to talk about? Okay, so uh, you're a, you are, you are dumbass fuck. Now you're, what? You're a stupid bitch. You're a stupid bitch. You ugly. You're a stupid bitch. You're a stupid. You're a dumb ass dialogue. 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 Uh, okay, what about you? Do you think a woman still deserves Sheesh. a dream man after making bad decisions? Um, if she like passed up the good guy, no, because she was looking for the wrong things. Uh -huh. But if she made mistakes, still no. Because mm. those mistakes that she made in the past can end up reflecting on her significant other in the future. Agreed. And it becomes a bad image on him. Mm. So, dropping, the, dropping the knowledge. Uh, right? Do you think you deserve your dream man? Me? Yes. <laughs> she said me? Yes. <laughs> Why? Well, in terms of mistakes, yes. 
Because I didn't, I haven't really made mistakes like that. Uh, like, I would say one night stands uh, a pretty big mistake. No, the tattoos well, are a pretty big mistake. Yeah. Tattoos? Oh, yes. I mean, to yes. each your own on that one. But um, in terms of like the one night stands, yeah. Love yeah. tattoos, but they don't look good on ladies. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Okay. So, all right. Uh, I'll take that. Your favorite part? Yeah, well, we got some more chats here. Then last thoughts. Okay. Uh, yeah. We went over time a little bit. All right. Cool. Uh, what do we Thanks. got here? No more chats. No more. Okay. Cool. All right. Final thoughts. So we'll do thoughts on the show. Hate it. Love it. Comments. Start with the couch, please. Before we oh, couch? couch. All right. Here we go. Speaking of penis. Thoughts on the show. Final thoughts. Hate it. Love it. Or angry tirades. You go ahead. <laughs> oh no! I have fun every time I come on. Yeah, I always learn something new. It's always entertaining for me. I just be sitting back watching everything go down. So I like it. It was fun for me. I don't have anything negative to say this time. Woo! You sound like you swallowed a balloon. I don't know why. Helium. I sound like I, yeah. I sound squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. You know what we used to do with the balloons with the helium? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sound like Donald Duck. Yeah. Helium. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. What about you? I love it. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I love it. I love I love debating about stuff, so it is oh, what it do? is. Yep, I do. All right, there you go. Okay. No, did you get it? All right, oh, sorry. never mind. I'm sorry. Do you have anything else that you want to say? No, I like the show. It's cool. You don't gotta lie. I have tough skin. Okay. So I don't care. Right. That's great. <laughs> okay. What about you? What about you? Um, this was enjoyable. I think that there's a lot of uh, good back and forth conversation, and I like to hear how everyone kind of has their own mindset and their own uh, choices on each thing. I like that there's some questions that were just like move past, and some of them were pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty good. So I appreciate it. Did you learn anything? Yes. Um, I think that I really enjoyed hearing people out. Okay. It's Did you learn anything? Answer. Politicians <laughs> answer. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. That was good. Good Did you learn anything? Yes. I had a really good time on the show. Yeah. There you go. I enjoyed interacting with the other guests. Yeah, what did you learn in particular? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it was more of my, my like observing and listening rather than me saying like, oh, wow, I learned this crazy life lesson like that. I would say no, oh, but the answer is you learn nothing. Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. um, <laughs> that, yeah, uh, and, and it's interesting because I like to do this experiment. What I've noticed with younger women is they typically don't learn anything and they just go back to doing what they're doing in the first place, which is totally cool and fantastic. But, um, you got four experienced guys telling you how the world really works and as usual, younger women tend to think no. that they know better. There I learned. There I learned. What did you um, learn? I would say I learned a little <laughs> bit about where men kind of prefer their um you know women and and <laughs> <laughs> okay, we move on. Sure. See now, do you see what I mean now when I say that women don't need to have competence? I'm telling you, bro. Like, y'all, y'all literally, you guys call me an asshole or maybe a massage or whatever. But throughout the course of the podcast, we've been able to pretty much prove through your guys' answers and stuff that the burden of performance for women is pretty low. Y'all don't have to do much. Hey, man, listen to my last piece of advice. Don't lose your titties. All right, let's move on. Oh, this is just joking, bro. I'm just saying, bro. All right, that's your best asset. That's good advice. Very good advice. No, no. Give it a look. She about to, she about to me too. You fresh? Watch out. Um, I enjoyed it. Okay. Um, the only thing I learned was to get a husband now. And <laughs> before I get old. <laughs> All right. Okay. I had a good time here. What did I, you learn? I learned nothing. <laughs> I learned a lot. No, like I learned that a girl's past can obviously not help her later on in her life. Yeah. And we'll take that. That getting a good <clears throat> guy later on is hard. You know. Are you gonna argue less with your boyfriend now? I don't argue with my man. Good. At all. And all also, right. don't wait sex because he might just leave. <laughs> yeah. <facts. laughs> Miss, I think you, I should you, be able to withhold. Look, she's smiling because she knows she's like, yeah, I'm not yeah, doing serious. that. No, no, yeah, no. Man. I'm not doing that. Like, I love there my man. And, That's good. You know, he can get it. So. Happy for <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you got to do it even when you don't feel like it is my point. How many tats do you have? Um, a lot. I lost count. I'm almost at, like, a whole bodysuit. God, God damn. Okay. Well, yeah, you're almost the dollar bill status. <laughs> what about yeah, you, G? Like... I had a good time. And I also learned about <laughs> men expectation. You know what it is. And that's it. How uh, I say it was either me being a slow, <laughs> a whore, how you guys call us girls that do olive or me being a wifey. So I'm gonna stay 
Man and a half before. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather cry and alone rice. on a Roy Royce or on a mansion. Chris, Royce. she said it. Roy Royce. Hey, Royce. She got you, bro. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Spill yeah. the tea. Okay. I'd rather cry yeah, really in my own mansion that I own and that I got with my own. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, then she accepts <laughs> it. That's cool. Shout out to Holes, man. Okay. That's fine. That. She accepts yeah. it. Yeah. What about you? What about so, you? I learned don't lose a good man for a dumb reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but it was fun. I enjoyed hearing everybody's different opinions, everybody keeping it unfiltered. So it was fun. Thank you. Well, we, we also learned what facts, but okay. We also learned what hell's <laughs> doing was today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. I think it was. I think it's dope to like get a male's perspective on these things and kind of like rebuttal sense? your thoughts. Yeah, because it kind of makes sense after you sit there and let it marinate for a little bit. Yeah, so are you gonna try to be a lawyer? <laughs> um. Yeah, I was going to. No, nah, don't do it. <laughs> no, 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 Just spread a clay. Stay, stay, stay as a paralegal, man. I'm going to start looking for my dream. Treat your guy well and you'll be straight, man. Start now. The younger, the better. Yeah, man. Don't don't, don't be a lawyer. Spread a clay. Yeah, nigga, go go to jail. Defend me. You go to jail. Your Honor, my argument is. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, damn. You know what? That makes sense. Wait, no. My past doesn't matter, bro. Uh, hey, at least guilty. you learned something, man. Guilty. Okay. Uh, what about you? So I actually enjoyed. I was really nervous because really? Uh, yeah, Why? because of you know. You spent bars, man. It's Myra Gaines, right? No, honestly, um, I was sent some real foul clips of y'all. So <laughs> I, 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 I never watched it. So I was like, what the fuck? But honestly, it was a vibe. Um, the dialogue was awesome, and what I learned from it is that. Everyone needs to know and understand their role and their position. And sometimes you got to settle for some shit. What were the clips? Yeah, we want to know. Out of curiosity. Just, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what All right, so I was told something about an 18-year-old girl. Like something about um, 18-year-old vir virgins or... That, What's wrong I don't know. Someone those? was waiting. For, no, no, this is just like... They oh, were just oh. telling me like, you know, that you're just creeps. It's yeah, just... Yeah. They don't... <clears throat> They said God, that, fine. you know, they're just just creeps that you guys just don't, don't respect, women. respect women and all this stuff. But it's honestly, typical. like a lot of the shit that y'all was saying, like a lot of shit is factual. Facts. Like you live and you learn and yeah. everything mm -hmm. is an experience. And if you don't take anything back from it, like, come on, what are you really doing? No, it is yeah. right. Girls that don't know us, they see clips and they judge us all. Yeah, yeah well, I was scared. Well, what, what people don't know is that, like, like <laughs> that clip. Nine out of ten times, if it's me kicking girl out or telling a girl she's dumb, Context. it's like it's been like an hour plus of her just being annoying or her in the quiet of the show, and I'm like, oh my god, you're a fucking retard. Yeah, right. Um, you know, because you know, there's a lot of dumb girls, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Yeah, and understanding a podcast too. Like, obviously, I don't know everything that goes behind it. So when we just get a little clip, like I just see, yeah, you know, everyone's you fired everything. up. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I, now I understand. You how get a thirty second clip from a three hour pod. It's it's very difficult to put things in context and understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why he was freaking out because this girl was acting ridiculous. We but actually that's love women, by the way. Yeah, no, y'all yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so. It was fun. All right, what about you? What, what last thoughts, comments, criticisms, questions? Before you go back to homestead. <laughs> Stop it. It's both of us together. Oh, I go. Stand, oh. Come on, man. Try to well, um, it was my first time on a podcast, so it was a really good experience. Oh, my God. Hey. It's oh all downhill from here. <laughs> yes, it is. This is a lot of copycats. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking really? bums. Yeah. No, don't worry about well, it. Well, it was a good experience. I learned a lot. You know, we had a difference of opinion. We talked through it. I think you guys have been nothing but respectful. Um... You know, I learned how to handle myself as a lady and, you know, the difference okay. between a hoe and a lady. No. And what you guys right are now. looking for. So now you know the truth. Let's see you find a guy that meets you from time to time. He's taking care of you. Would you stay or would you leave? She's about to call that dude from two years stay, ago. You better go girl. get that nigga. You better go I'm get that nigga. Around. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and stay. in the car if he don't do what you're talking about then leave him i'm like girl i can't he has every other thing i want you feel so me? now what you see yo she a bad friend though <laughs> i get it i get it i get see, it see girls always I'm fuck yeah, up bad advice. Advice. let me tell it. i be oh sitting telling girls all the time never take advice from a single girl bro yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, single women give each true. other terrible advice don't yeah. Yeah. advice me single just dog with her as well so yeah, they so. give dog shit advice okay yeah. Yeah. Uh, you definitely want to look at things differently now i said this podcast I'm going to start wasting my time and wasting other people's time looking for love and for my drink God. I didn't press the button. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm going to start it. looking. I'm going to start wasting my time 
and Stop wasting other wasting. guys' time looking for my drink guy because I, I see how you guys... Bro. Yeah, you're Wait. fucked. I'll be honest. You're fucked. Wait, there's, there's, there's videos of you sucking dick on a plane. That's over. Yeah, it's over. It's, yeah, over. it's, it's over. over for it's you, bro. Over. Okay, don't need a million yeah, dollars. Like, yo, there's it's literally over. sex videos of you it's out there. It's over. a wrap for you. It's my time no more. It's a wrap for you. Troy, where can they find you guys, man? It's okay. Yeah, so uh, at Real Troy Francis on YouTube, on Twitter or X, and on Instagram. It's been a fucking great show. Thanks guys yeah. for having me. It's been great to chat to all of you guys. I mean, I think I think for me personally, variety is the spice of life. I would say, guys, ignore all this daily Boom. wire shit. <laughs> Don't get married. Go out and enjoy the fucking buffet. If you're staying in Vegas, if you're staying at the hotel in Vegas, you go down to the fucking cafe, you know, the restaurant there. They've got the Chinese, they've got the Mexican, they've got the Italian. You want to sample a little bit of each. You don't just want one of them, do you? So, you know, stay free. Do I, girls? Ex well, <laughs> oh, we're still talking about food. My fault. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, stay free. But the other thing is as well, um, actions have consequences. So you do stuff in your life and there's going to be a fucking consequence to that, right? So if you want to be a, a 304 in your younger years as a woman, that's great. Absolutely fine. But there's going to be a consequence to that. If you want to be a bachelor and want to go around and be, you know, casual and whatever, there's got a consequence to that. There's tr trade-offs to everything. If you want to get right. married, there's going to be, you know, trade-offs to right. that as well. So, uh, at Real Troy Francis on all platforms. Thank you, guys. Donovan? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, yeah, great podcast. Uh, thanks for having me again. Um, uh, in the end, you know, I know a lot of you guys get, you know, we get bad reputations like we hate women. No, we love women very much. And that's why we talk about you guys so much. Uh, because at the end of the day, man, and Rolla says this all the time, we're at odds right now, but men and women, without a doubt, we're better together. We mm. are. And mm -hmm. when you have this, when you have <laughs> this miscommunication between the sexes on what's important to each other, mainly with women, women are so misguided. You really have to, you really have to take time and listen to, listen to the caliber of men you're trying to lock down. Don't listen to the bum ass nigga on the block who's mm -hmm. always bitches and shit. No, 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 no. Take advice from the men. Take advice from the caliber of men that you want. And listen, if you're looking for a high value man, if, you, if you're attracted to lawyers, be a paralegal. If you want a doctor, maybe be a nurse or an LPN. If you want to date a rich golfer, be one of the ball girls. If you want to meet high end people, become, be, become a server at a, a, a sweet box at a professional sports game. There are many, many ways to put yourself in front of, in front of high value men you just have to recognize these men when you see them and like i said men and women are, women are better together and i like what troy said you know I, I lived in vegas for almost 10 years and i sampled every kind of buffet there was and <laughs> as much as much fun as it was and i would I, I would not trade that experience for the world my life is infinitely infinitely it is so much better now that I have one woman to worry mm -hmm. about instead of two and three and four. So you learned something too. Mm, no, I always knew I was going to settle down. I just <laughs> didn't I just, win. No, no, no. I, I knew I was. I knew I was going to settle down, but I knew that in order to in order to have the requisite uh, uh, mentality and skill set to be able to mold a woman into what I needed her and wanted her to be, I was going to have to go out. I was going to have to skin my knees a little bit, and he was either going to be Miami or Las Vegas. I cut my teeth in Vegas, and here I am. So and Donovan, you have a discount on your collection yes so i have like oh my goodness i have done like 450 hours of exclusive premium content all kinds of books and courses i've got all of them on sale for 95 percent off just go to tsracademy.com there it is. Oh, there it is. Look, you get all five womanese versions. You get the audio, the video, and the ebook. <laughs> How to master the game, the forty nine laws of sharp, relationship foundation fundamentals. That's with me. That's uh, me and Dev. The ultimate shit test guide. How to build a quality woman from the ground up. And how to stop female manipulation. You get all that stuff for 95% off, guys. Yeah. Get wow. Um, all right. And, guys, we'll be back on uh, Friday. Friday. I think we might have, a guest. have uh, some special guests on. I'm going to lock in with Ryan and Scott Ritter. We're going to talk about oh, cool. um, the conflict going on in a certain part I'm of the Rumble world, only. which I won't even talk about. That's going to have to be Rumble only. But, uh, guys, do me a favor. Don't forget to like the video on YouTube and comment below for the algo. Okay? Open up a YouTube tab. Like the video over there, comment. man. Let's go ahead and hit the algo hard. Hashtag fresh and fit. Let's yes. Or for the algo. Either or. Yeah. Love you. I'll be back on Friday at 6 p.m. Peace. Peace.